where little uh, was taken by Twitch for unknown reasons. He was abruptly rescued and uh, Jules was almost murdered and Valen was almost murdered uh, for interrupting a deal that they didn't really investigate a whole lot. Uh, once they found Lil, they headed back to uh, Valen's home. And uh, although, although Valen wanted everybody to go to the Cobalt Soul, Lil insisted that that was not where he was going. And more Zuth was introduced. He very quickly helped them dispatch of Twitch's body after, uh, after dragging him through the streets, unconscious. Um, and then there was a, a, a moment where a uh, wanted poster was presumed to be a demon and a partial hunt for that demon ensued. Uh, until they realized that shark hunting was in less than eight hours um, and for, went that for uh, shark hunting. So this morning, beautiful, warm, kind of humid morning, and you are in your respective places, wherever that may be. So let's start with uh, more Zuth and Valen. It is bright and early in the morning. What are you guys doing? Uh, <clears throat> Valen, uh, he slept his normal amount like he, he is. He's just on that, uh, you can tell he's on the cusp of exhaustion, but he definitely like slept weird, but the expositor's words are very much in his head. And again, since Morazuth was there, he didn't do his normal, like, uh, kind of revealing sleep as it were. <coughs> so... He wakes up uh, before everybody else. Um, well, I guess even before Lil is the attempt. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. All right. Um, and yeah, uh, he's gonna kind of uh, take. Is there like a rag or something around? Like just. Yeah. All right. He's gonna clean up the door a little bit from where there may or may not be a little bit of. Uh, Twitch left on there. Sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> clean up, and uh, he kind of sets his space. If uh, just kind of everything has its own place, and then he kick, and then he kind of uh, literally pulls. No, taps Marzuth to wake him up. Morzuth pulls down his jacket that he's sleeping under and looks at him with a wet look. All right. What you see now is instead of, like, the burning coals that you saw before you went to sleep, it looks like shallow... It looks like deep pools of, like, water with crystalline ice just around the edges, like a, like a cold fucking puddle that hasn't frozen all the way through and just has, like, the crystalline uh, encirclements. And uh, he's like... We need to have a conversation. <laughs> Frosty. No reaction. So, here it is. You're working for me now, right? I mean, I assume so. Nothing left to say. The order is, everybody gets what they need before me. They get the healing, they get the food. And same goes for you now. I can't be held responsible for what these hands do as he holds up his hyper-realistic hands. <laughs> he puts his hands on your hands and pulls them down. You're new to Damali. What we did yesterday will have repercussions, and we will have to deal with them. There is no joke here. And you can you just feel this intense weight of severity as he speaks just a weird thing from someone so tiny you know what i mean for someone so lithe and he's like we have to be careful we have to be aware so as we go forth today you have to keep an eye out for lil and phil or fuck <laughs> <laughs> For Lil and Jules. God 
goddamn Rugrats. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help that his name's actually Philip. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's okay, okay Philip, though. Right. And, uh... Alright. Our first and priority is getting Jules out of here. And he looks over to make sure Jules... To see if he can tell if Jules is still sleeping. That'd be a perception check. check. Yeah. Yep. Headed there now. Wow. Oof. Ten. Okay. It says virtual tabletop not found. Did it go through? Nope. Okay. Let me... That's okay. I see it there. I just... Volume started working and yours in. Wow. Yeah. I'm like, one... <laughs> Wait a minute. Now it's... Now I got a whole new menu coming up. Because I'm a rogue and it knows it. Trade one for the other. It's okay. I see I see the four. All right, all right. Well, it's a ten because of my plus six. Okay. So um he looks like he's sleeping. Like right. his his breath is, is quietly okay. ra- rising and falling. It doesn't look like he's awake. Neither is at this moment, neither is little. All right. He he's he's still got your hands, like to kind of like let you know this this is where your attention should be. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> we're doing a shark hunt today, but the overall mission is always to get Jules home. He's not meant for Damali. This place eats people up. Yesterday was just the tip of an iceberg that's going to come to fuck us in full. Don't worry about Twitch. I made sure he wasn't going to follow us at all whatsoever. I hope that's true, but Twitch... But Twitch, he's be- he grew up here longer than me. That's probably why he hates me. <laughs> yeah, I doubt he's got much trouble with the ocean. Never count him out. Twitch, he's a wily one. He's about as wily as they get. After me, of course. But our primary goal is to find a way to get him. I have... The inklings of a plan. But that's not for now. For today, keep vigilant. And he just kind of nods at you as if that's all he has to say. He just gets the thumbs up from Morzuth. Right. Morzuth, have you, have you spent any more time looking at that uh, wanted poster? As he lifts up the, his jacket, you can see it's stuck to the inside of it. <laughs> Okay, give me a give me an insight check. Oh boy, this negative one better help me out. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, in, in having spent some time with the image, uh, not only is this a demon, it is the demon. This is Yagernath. You can you can tell just based on the like subtle change in bony structure of the of the person's face that uh Yagernath hides behind that and it's not it's not something and you you can tell that this isn't something that anyone else is gonna understand Yagernath. he'll explain it to you if he feels like it about that's the name yeah that's the name Yagernath. Mm-hmm. So, um, on the other side of town, well, I presume on the other side of town, in, uh, in the Cobalt Soul, uh, Russell has spent some of the night studying and working on his magic. Uh, what are you doing this morning? Um, well, I've gotten some of my work done on that, so I'll set that aside for now. I'm going to do my daily prayers and then I'm going to see if I can't find my friend and help her out with her studies. Okay. Easy enough. You you find her. She's she's tucked away in like a pile of books, and she's she's just it, it's kind of a slow day. She's she's sort of studying and sort of spacing off, and so she's not uh, she's not super into it today, if you will. No, I'm I'm still going to sit down and help her. Okay. All right. I'm gonna. I'm going to roll off of Valen's page really quickly, just a couple of times for her. 
Ooh. She got a 20. Nat 20. Yay. Oh, yeah. And a one, which is which is not for Valen, so. Okay. Um, so yeah, you, you help her. She actually gets somewhere today, which is not what she was expecting to do. Um, and she just, she kind of leans down to, and she's like, don't you, uh, don't you have a scroll to go get or a couple scrolls to go get today? I nod and leave. Hi, Russell. Somewhere in town. Uh, I don't know. Did you, where did you stay? Morty. I don't remember. I think <laughs> I didn't stay in nowhere. I, was saying, I, mean, I, 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 think, I think we just got. No, you stayed time. at the hotel, remember? Because you have that special thing. Yeah, yeah. That was the. the okay, night before so I, you're, yeah, at, you're, at, you're at the Rustic Runaway? Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you, you wake up, it's a quiet morning. The, the tavern's daughter is back downstairs. And she she greets you. Good morning. Your hey. show was really great yesterday. Thank you. Can I have some breakfast, please? Yeah. Hang on one second. And she wanders uh, off. Question: How far? Uh, what time is the shark contest? And how far is the library? The library isn't. Um, I would say you're probably like. Or can I go if it's soon enough? Uh, to the shark place going through the library first just yeah, a quick could... stop not not to make reading or anything yeah yeah you can i mean it's probably like maybe a mile away total to get there oh sorry i have tonight it's really bad um so it's not too far away you can i mean you could get there before to meet russell and then go you're close enough to where uh, Valen and Morzuth spent the night that you you could find them first if you wanted to. Okay, so I'm having breakfast. Okay. And then I'm gonna go looking for these guys. Okay. All right, you find them soon enough while you guys are talking and Valen is being pretty serious about things. All of a sudden, what color is he today? On the door that you just cleaned up, there's a knock. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> you can come. I don't in. want any. You. He. F he flicks. What should we call it? He flicks. Uh, Morizuth in the forehead. He's like, "Come on in, boy." And the boy. <laughs> I'm a man. Look at this mustache. And I show him my four hers. My <laughs> mistake then. It's okay. It's a teenager thing. It's okay. I'm 21 or 2021. 20, I'm a teenager. No more. That's science at 19. But uh, let's go. Are you still interested in hunting sharks? Oh, I gave my word. He helped. He helped Jules. I'll be there. How how are Lidl? They're asleep. <coughs> and Jules? So it's asleep. Okay. No. Lil knows what I know. And that we basically shoved our dicks into a hornet's nest yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it's about that bad. Like that metaphor, but it's an accurate one. So, I have I need to know are you with me? Are you one of my boys, one of my friends, one of my family? Of course, we are friends because I, I not friends like you made Jules your friend, actual loyalty, real yes. friendship. I don't know the difference, but yes, he just. Tilts his head and his eyes narrow a little bit. And he nods. Fair. Fair. To elaborate, that means, again, like I said yesterday, sorry for the knife, but I needed to make my point, he says with a wink. I don't mind the knife. <laughs> Fair. 
just stay out of our heads. We work for each other. That means you get food yeah, that before thing, me. I do it without pretending to do it. It just comes out. Fair. Sometimes. Fair. Sometimes <clears throat> I guess I could do it on purpose. I didn't do it on Jules that way. It just came out. I can't claim to really know how magic works, so fair. But you need to apologize to him directly. He does not like the way that mm -hmm. felt, and neither do I. Or directly. Um, <clears throat> sorry, what? Did you say indirectly or directly? Oh, directly, like to him. When he wakes up, make the effort, please. If we're all going to work together for the goal, the, I'll, I'll, tell you the same th an now. <laughs> I'll tell you, you the three, same you, thing. You, oh, shit. you three give me a give me a perception check really quickly. Who? All three of you. Perception. <laughs> Ten. Ten. <laughs> My. Did you did you roll? Yeah, Zaya? I. I got a twenty-two. Okay, so you two don't see it, but the Valen you you see, uh, Lil Lil has made his way to the door, makes eye contact with you, and then is out the door before you can even say anything to him. He's just gone. <sighs> But you see him leave. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, and Phil, uh, Lil's favorite season is winter. You know what I mean? Like, I think I mentioned that in the thing. I just wanted to make that mm, reminder. Yeah. What color uh, are you today? <clears throat> uh, he, he's winter today. Yeah, oh. he's... Wh what did I say just now? No, you did. You okay. said winter. Well, All right. You know. All right. Um, so, <clears throat> but yeah, he just, he just nods. Just... They nod to each other and he goes. Yep, he leaves. Um... It's at that point that Jules kind of rolled over and just kind of sits up and is like, everything hurts. You get used to it. I don't want to get used to it. I hate it. Mm. He goes over and sits down next to him. He goes, hey, hey, hey. And pulls out some food that he has. It's just a, it's uh, just some dried fish from like a day ago. <clears throat> okay. Because he has, like, five rations, so I'm just using that as, like, food he's stored away. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he willingly takes it. He eats yeah. it. He's like, hey. It's your first time catching a bolt. And he pulls up his shirt, and you can just see, like, a, a circular scar. He goes through and through right there. I was 12. Shouldn't have been where I was. Had no one there to comfort. No one there to tell me. This was just the way of Damali. No one to tell me that there was better. I'll make sure you get better, okay? Better than Damali, better than bolts flying. Just better. Okay? Just hang in there, buddy. Okay. All right. I'm not, go I'm not going with you today. I'm no. going to stay here. Yeah, you stay here. You rest up. You see, and you can see that there's still just a bit of, like, purple to, to like, just, he's healed, as far as like hit points are concerned, because that's the mechanics, but that's still a you know and a fresh wound, you know, uh, that he's he's definitely covering for with his movements, and probably only Phil only God, only Jules would know that because they've yeah. been around so long. Um, so is that twelve years or in human years or elf years? The, is that an out of character question or in character? Uh, both. Well, he doesn't. <laughs> let's say, let's say in character. Um, he just looks at you and shrugs. He I doesn't will... know. Yeah. Okay. I take note. <laughs> I do want to make a point to go to the Cobalt Soul and speak to Expositor Doran. Oh, me too. This time, don't fart in her face. Actually, I was gonna buy some cupcakes or <laughs> some meat pie or something to make amends and apologize. Smart move. Um, one second. Um, we have to cut to somebody else. I gotta kill a wasp. <laughs> okay.
Okay. <laughs> Sorry. You, make attack. you guys can you guys can make your way to the corner. Okay. I do that. I go uh, I just look for a pastry, this is called. Yeah, pastry. Sure. A pastry to buy some something to for breakfast for Exposito Lauren. So the the beaded alleyway is on the way, so you can very quickly find a a merchant selling muffins and breakfast items. Yeah. Just a, there's like a, a <laughs> you see a, an old uh, an older gnome sitting behind the counter, just bored out mm. of his mind. Yeah. Can you can you buy it? Uh, more soup? <laughs> yeah, you're asking more Zeus to buy the yeah. buy the food. Yeah, I, I'll give you. I give him a coin. It's just I don't like gnomes. Ah, gotcha. I, they're weird. I read that they're the better version of the magic I do. So they hurt my pride, and and they look like toads. Can we all just get along? Guess not. I better. <laughs> do you do you, more Zeus? Do you do you walk up to this gnome who's selling pastries? Yes, he does. I look from the door. Like, is he gonna jump or do something? <laughs> How can I help you? I would like to buy one of your little delicious treats here. We got blueberry, raspberry, strawberry, elderberry. Did I say raspberry? We got blackberry. What do you what do you want? Elderberry. Elderberry. That sounds like elder. All right. One silver piece, and he slides it over to you. He slides the silver piece the, over. The no no the, he pushes the the that particular elderberry cupcake over to you. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay, <clears throat> and and. Uh, coffee, sorry. coffee to take away for her, for Esposito too. Can you put that too? Okay, two silver pieces. Why are you in the doorway? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why. I, 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 mm. Stupid human. And he goes, uh, he wanders off and he goes and he makes coffee. And he comes back. He only wanted one, right? He puts it on the table. He puts it on the table. So now there's a muffin and a thing of coffee sitting at the front of a uh, counter. Fantastic. No toad man. I'm not a toad. I'm a gnome. Two silver pieces. Uh, yeah, I. He, he takes them from you. I gave him. Yeah. Can I get out? <laughs> Have a good day. Bye. Gnomes. Humans. I regret Humans. nothing. <laughs> so we can now go to the library to do all the things we have to do there. Oh, yeah. Pick up Russell. Yep. And apologize to Exposito. Yep. <sighs> So you guys, you guys get there pretty quickly. Russell, where are you? Um, I guess so somewhere in the library, or they find you pretty easy. Well, I helped my friend no. with her research, and then I started heading towards the docks because I would okay. would have gotten fish there too, and then sat in dark alley. Okay. Away from uh, okay. So, well, we'll say they catch you. They catch you right at the entrance before you leave. So right as you're getting ready to leave, in walks the strange new party of friends that you've been making, <laughs> actively looking for you. All right. Well, the only thing different today is that now he has a floating book beside him. Beside him. Yeah. How's it floating? It's awakened. No, like um. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Does it feel yeah. all right? Visually, is it like there's wind, or does it like have a glowing aura, or is it just like floating there, floating there, no effect? It, it's on floating, it. floating there. Okay, just <laughs> getting the visual. 
Yeah. It, it's like a little navy just behind mm-hmm. him. Yeah. It's, hey, I'm, I'm, uh, any like the near games, like the original ones. Mm-hmm. They actually had it was a book instead of a robot that cast. But spe- okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Valen looks at you, Drossel, and you I can nod. see you see the di- you can only see his eyes and. Uh, I forgot to mention the now there's like dark, like frozen black, blue color. You know what I mean? Like almost like what the fuck? Um, frostbite, like that color, that dark blue uh, accents his eyes uh, a bit. <laughs> He's so pretty. All that guy liner. Mm hmm. <laughs> Well, you guys are at the front of the library as you as you walk in. You've interrupted uh, Russell in his business of getting food. What do you want to do in the library? We go to Exposito. We look for Expositor door or ask ask the nearest person. Yeah. Uh, for the pleasure of Expositor Doran's momentary company. The old lady at the front is just like. No end. She kind of looks at you very sternly, and she's like, "The expositor is usually over there in that in that section of books." She's, but you shouldn't be disturbing expositors; they're very busy. That's all you get from her. Thank you. Is that Lauren, or is that's the life? No, I mean, we have to apologize to Lauren, right? Yeah, expositor yeah. Doran. Doran is with a D, right? D or yeah, okay. D, D is in Dor- Dor- Doran. All right. So she she kind of gestures to one area of the library where that expositor usually, or at least has been for the last week. Um, I'm going to make a perception check to see what books she's been around. Okay. Well, I'll make a perception check first to see if you find her. Oh. Break it down. Yeah, you do that. 21. Oh, yeah. You find her. She... She's sitting in a, in a, in a, in a well, she's standing um, in, in a particular shelved area. There are multiple books over over the um, front of the table. Uh, most of them talking about uh, separate planes, uh, godlike entities, um, and that that kind of genre of of information. All right. And she is just. <clears throat> She's very engrossed in the book at the moment. She she does not actually like see you see her first. He puts a hand she up has to Morty. A table. <laughs> yeah, he lets. Mm-hmm. She has a table. There's a yeah. There's a table, and then there's bookshelves in front of the table. So she's got books out on the table, bookshelf like a bookshelf that she's other pulling other books from, and then she's standing in the aisle, flipping through a particular book. I tell Vos to shh. Before he tells me. Are you trying to be stealthy with that? No, yes. Okay. He looks at you without a word. Having learned from Russell, I make a sign. So (laughs) Exposito Lauren sees it saying, Good morning. She kind of looks over. And you can tell she's already over it. Like she's about to snap that book shut and walk the fuck out. She she sees you and she's got that look of not you fucks again. I put the food and the coffee on the table and and a carte a poster uh, a sign saying apologies. And I make the cupcake or whatever it is to smell even better than before. Okay, and she kind of. She kind of, and she she doesn't exactly trust you, but she does like she hasn't eaten, so she like reaches over and like pulls them both closer to her, and she's like, "Thank you," and she like takes a sip of the coffee and just keeps like she's she's obviously now paying attention to you, but she's also like, "I'm really busy." <laughs> I elbow uh, Valen and <laughs> nod my head towards her. First, I want to apologize for the conditions of our initial introductions. 
at she, hasn't, she hasn't seen you like winter yet, right? No, no. She's only she's actually seen almost every season but winter. Now that I think about it, because we've been back and forth a lot. Okay. <clears throat> and she she just kind of she's she's very she's got that very like solid jaw. She's very stern, and she just looks at you and she's like, "Well, that's more than I expected out of you." I can get ahead of myself. What can I help you with? And he pulls back the hood, and you see dark black ears. Like, that same color black that accents his eyes kind of, like, Mm -hmm. smush out from the side. And he starts to, uh, he takes off his hat, and you hear almost like a clinkety-clink as his hair stands up in uh, the same color blue, but it fades to a lighter color as it gets closer to his head. And it's spiky, dark blue into light blue into white hair that kind of looks like a crown vaguely for some reason. But, like, only for a second, you know? And he just, and he even takes off his hands, and you see the same color blue deep up into his forearms, and then it fades. And he's just contrite as shit. And he's like, what am I? I genuinely don't know. You're the (laughs) first person that's given me the closest thing to an answer, and all I can do is hope you know this one. Could I make a roll on this as well? Yeah, give a give a. Um, well, I need a persuasion check from Valen. But what are you trying to do? Can he make it with advantage because mm-hmm, of the because, coffee? Um... Yeah, that's fine. What are you trying to roll, Austin? Just answer his question for him because oh. I, he, I would be interested as well. Sure. Um, give me a. Um. Not give, me, give, give me an insight check. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A 14. 22 on my persuasion. Okay. So, um... No, that's 12. Sorry. That's 12. I, I like, dyslexia what? the shit out of that. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm so it's sorry. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's fine. Um, so Russell, we'll, we'll address we'll address your insight first. Um, it comes back to you very quickly. Uh, there are stories uh, that you have read, just having lived in this library long enough and experienced a, a good amount of the books, even storybooks. Um, you know that there are variants of elves that come from all over, but that most of the elves, uh, regardless of where they come from, are from the the Feywilds, uh, which is a separate plane. So you you at least know that. And you also know that there, there are ways with stronger magic to get there. That's what you know. Val, and she looks at you and she's like... <laughs> she's very quiet. He looks contrite as shit. <laughs> like he's super genuine at the moment. So she um she kind of looks you over and she actually like grabs one of your ear tips and like pulls it off to the side and then lets it go. And she's like, I've seen you two other ways, haven't I? It's interesting. Whoever taught you to hide is very wise. You should stay that way. What I'll tell you is that some of what you're looking for, you may not want to find. But also, you are Feywild. You are from the Feywild. You are an Eldrin elf. Now, I think you have a brain in your head. You should be capable of figuring the rest out yourself. But don't go jumping ahead of yourself. Don't just think you can go to the Feywild. For whatever reason you're here, you shouldn't be. You're mute. So there's not many of my kind here, is there? (laughs) I'm surprised you haven't figured that out yourself. 
I've never left Damalia, you know? I, I don't even barely look at the ships, aside from the airships. Damali is a big city. I mean, there's If there were others over. of you, they would be here, if anywhere. Fair. How, no. old is, how old is he? 15. Yeah. But elves don't usually age. Lower. Well, um, mechanically in 5e, they maintain the same age of maturity, and then they stop aging until when they're mature, and then when yeah. they're like 100, elves consider them an adult. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, she, uh, she just But he kind is of, small for his age. She kind of just looks at him, and she's like, now, I need you to leave. You've done more than I've asked. Thank you very much. Thanks for the coffee. And she kind of just nods at Morty. And he nods it, uh, and Ooh. Valen just kind of makes eye contact with Morty with a nod as thanks and moves out. And I take from my coat a uh, sailor cap. <laughs> Time for shark hunting. I, I, no, I, I don't say that. That was out of character. I just put the cap. Oh, <laughs> oh all right. <laughs> I, I think we're going to need a bigger boat. Well, I was wondering how long it would take that. I had to beat Marty to it. I had to. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to need a bigger (laughs) ball. Oh, man. Uh, Russell is with us, next to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, there are a couple of different ways you can get to to, uh, Palmaflora. Palmaflora is kind of a peninsula off of Port Damali. It's a little further north. So you can take a little boat over there because it doesn't go into open water, uh, which would be the faster route, although you might have to uh, pay for it. Uh, Or you can walk it, which might take a couple of hours, but uh, it's early enough. You would still get there in time, depending upon how you want to go. So is there any more details about the contest? Yeah, so uh, the piece of paper that you found, it, the shark hunting competition goes all day long. The uh, Those who enter can enter at any time. So you, the, obviously the earlier you enter, the more sharks you catch, the higher chance of winning. It's, um, it's about the number of sharks. It's not about uh, the number or, of sharks, the it's bigger. the biggest catch. So they keep, whoever catches the biggest catch, it goes up and it's strung up and hung there. And then if somebody catches a bigger one, that one is then strung up and hung there. And so um, that that is what you have learned from both the research as well as the, the insight. There are three, skull, three scrolls and 30 gold pieces um, available for first place. There are two scrolls and 20 gold pieces for second and one scroll and 10 gold pieces for third. How much money would it take to get there via ship? Probably, I would I would say because it's not you're not entering open water and you're probably going to be on that boat for like 30 minutes. You're looking at like five silver pieces. Okay, I'll pay for I'll pull everyone's hands and take us to the docks to charter our boat. Okay. Since Are you guys <laughs> This is my job. <laughs> Are mm-hmm. you gonna? Yeah. Are you gonna? Stop I'm gonna pay for everyone. Get, well, but are you gonna stop and still get food? Is that? Oh, yeah. Still your goal? Yeah. That that was a pl- that was a plan. Okay. All right. So you you head to the docks, and there there's plenty of um, fisheries and things like that that you can purchase something from. It's probably a silver piece per fish. Um, if you want fish, if you want something else special, you can take two silver pieces, and someone will prepare it for you. Nah, uh, I'll just take fish. Okay. You get a fish. And I guess give me a deception check to try to hide eating the fish in an alleyway with your friends not noticing you. Uh, I would I would just think it would be stealth, but yeah. Deception. Yeah, stealth is stealth. Stealth is fine too. Either way. Okay. Whichever one you want to roll. Eight. Uh, okay. Um. Well, okay. So they. All, all three of you, uh, Morzuth, Morty, and Valen, all three of you notice Russell kind of like wander off very quickly and eat very quickly. Um, but unless unless you want to uh, pester him, you don't see anything. 
but you see it wander off and eat really quickly. Nobody's gonna do anything. All right. Yes, looking from afar. Just shakes okay. his head and stares at him. Okay. All right. Well, you get you uh, you get away with having not shown yourself. Um, and up ahead is a little, uh, just a, a very small boat. It's like a four or five person boat uh, with a guy just kind of hanging out, just a human, uh, a middle aged human man, just kind of sitting there bored waiting for passengers that may want to go to Palma Flora because they know about the competition too. Um, I'm going to take, I'm going to summon my quill mm -hmm. and then start writing in my book and hold it up to him asking uh, how much for our group to the shark competition. Okay. He, he looks at your note and he, he kind of... Um, glances around the group and he's like you shark hunting i nod my head okay. i move my hat my illusory hat so for and he's sitting there and he's like doing that and he's like 20 silver pieces i have ne we never heard hunt a shark before and i look at morsul are you I hand, him, I hand the man two gold. Oh, okay. Great. I, I was gonna try to make it lower. And then I magically erase out of my book the written note. Okay. All right. So, I, more zoos, are you gonna. Are you, you're mute, Marty. If you're trying to answer him, yeah, you're mute. No, I just yelled witchcraft. <laughs> Morty asked you if you've ever hunted a shark. Oh, I said, mm, mm, no. Okay. I mean, it's not can't be that much different than hunting anything else, so. Unless you yeah. count the water, our lack of ability to breathe, it's omnidirectional movement. Luckily, the reef sharks. Reef sharks um, don't really, you know, want to hurt us. They're just invasive on our fish, so we have to kill them. It's like a yearly thing. You guys, oh, that's right. Most of you aren't from here. So the the older the older gentleman kind of bows and nods, and he's like, "Welcome aboard the Blushing," and he points towards his little skiff. Oh, and just to be clear, he's back to bandaged before they even left the cobalt. Like, I figured. That. All right. <clears throat> so you all are. Very quickly shuttled, unless there's some shenanigans you want to do on this boat. Uh, okay. Do you have any plans to how to catch a shark? Are you asking the, the yeah, party? Yeah, the rest. Oh, okay. I think I could bait the shark with magic. You know, some illusion of some bait moving in the water. I can make the water look red, like it's bleeding. And I can put a smell on the water. Russell also can do that. But remember, these aren't these aren't violent sharks. You're thinking the the dangerous sharks. These sharks they'll smell blood and be like, oh that that poor fucking soul. Oh that oh look at that fish. I I, I read about the sharks, but I'm working on my real life logic. I don't know what kind of sharks there is in a, this fantasy setting. Yeah, they're, they're reef sharks. They're just, they're literally, they do not, like, humans can be around reef sharks and be in very little danger. Like, even fast-moving flailing, they're like, oh, shit, that thing's huge. I don't really want to deal with that. But there's this fish over here. <laughs> you know, that's why they call them reef sharks. They focus on those areas. They even eat, I want to say, like, crustaceans and shit, too. I, um, anyway, yeah, they're just, they're cool sharks. <clears throat> I like sharks. And how did you hunt those? Uh, this is actually my first time. Uh, go I usually just kind of, he points over to like where a bunch of like the docks are and stuff. I usually just kind of check on who's winning between working. Okay, we can go there and maybe see how they do it. And just try to make something similar. We're on the water. We. Oh, did anybody get... Chum? 
Eh, you, you said you could make chum. It's fine. With magic. All right. Or Zeus goes, no, we left the kids at home. Fair. Could I use uh, shape water to quickly create a uh, fish shape that look that has you uh, also just got... regular colors? Could and... you water shape yes. a wave with the shark onto the boat? If it's only five feet. Still, a five-foot shark is fucking huge. I mean, I can do this, and I... I save the water into a spike and freeze it. Maybe we can make the shark go into the ice. Or maybe we can make the spike go into the shark. Could you make a hook? Yeah, I thought about that. But maybe it's too breakable. I mean, I, I can do it and I do it. You can do that also, Austin? Yeah. What, I... Water shape, I mean. Yeah, I, I can. Okay. I, I was just thinking uh, creating a a fish out of water shape. It's frozen. Then I color it to look like a regular fish to a degree as best I can. And then I would presentation it to make it smell like a injured fish to any shark. Yeah, or you can work together on that. Like, so you don't have to expend yourself so much. That seems exhausting. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> Not really. Not at I can, all. They're countries. <laughs> yeah. I, you say these I words. I can do a uh, moving bait. It's not like a real fish, but either is bait. So I can do a bait that looks like fish that moves. We can add the smell, the smell and, the, and the shape water thing. Shape water, yeah, shape water. But I guess you two will need to stop the shark. I mean, uh, all right. What about harpoons, it? like with chains and things, so we can? Oh God, I, don't, I feel weird. They're, they're. I mean, I'm not the nicest guy, but I mean, it's it's humanoids I don't like. <laughs> Reef sharks don't bother nobody. I've swam with them before. They're just there. We can eat them after. So they do taste good. Them. I have stolen some reef shark. That is. We can bring some to Jules and Lidl, and if there's any leftovers, there's then probably a lot decided. of. We're catching dinner. Yeah, we're catching dinner. Think it right. that way. As you as you guys are are talking, Palma Flora comes into view, and as. You, as you're as you're sitting there on the on the on the boat, it's very there's just a nice cool breeze on the air. It's very beautiful later morning. You can smell flowers and the salt of the ocean just kind of whips across the boat. Uh, off in the distance, you can see a ton of well tanned locals kind of playing on the beach, uh, as well as a bunch of visitors sitting around uh, a large like roughly three story tall building with a bar, and um, and then, of course, you can see the docks. And off to your right is kind of a larger home-looking structure. And then you can see a couple, you can see a statue right in the middle of town. And that's that's really what you can see as this boat slowly approaches. And the, the uh, captain kind of looks at you guys and he's like, just a couple more minutes, we'll be right there. But how is this statue? Uh, it's just, it's a picture of, um, actually, let me... Uh, a religion check? Eighteen. Oh, yeah. Um, from some of the some of the reading that you were doing, you can tell even at this distance that that is Cord, the Storm Lord, which is the patron deity of the Palma Flora's shark hunters. That's oh. yes, us. Cord. Yeah, yes, us. Yes. Gold. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yes. So that's what you see as you guys approach. Um, anything else you want to do or say before we get onto the beach? Just before the boat docks, 
<laughs> More Zeus, let's tell her. I'm bored already. 100% dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, boat rides it's... aren't for everybody, and he pulls himself up onto the onto the dock and kind of hitches his boat to that, and he's like, welcome to Palma, Florida. Well, and thank you. <clears throat> nods and thank you, Captain. And just walks off. Okay. Arr. So, <laughs> so, why don't any anybody who wants to uh, tell me tell me where you're looking and give me a perception check? Uh, I'm gonna look for shark hunting uh, supplies. Um, I'm looking for crowds to see where they are meeting. So, Palma Flora is a city or a town? It's a, it's a very uh, small. Easy. It's a very small island town. Island? Island, yes. No, and, I got a six. Oh. <laughs> Russell, you when you guys get when you guys get off of the off of the boat and off of the deck, um, right in front of you is uh, uh, the statue of the Stormlord. It's a it's a bit further away. It is the very center of town. But that that you can see pretty blatantly obvious. And then off to your left or towards the south shore. You can see there's there there is a line of people setting like looking like they're set up to do something. They have harpoons in their hands, um, and they're standing along the beach. That's what you see. Yeah, Valen is one hundred percent checking out the competition with a with hopefully a keen eye. Okay. Yeah is is there like an organizer or? And Twenty. Taking care of, of not bad. The, the contest. Uh, yeah. Give me a perception check. Um, Valon, what you see uh, standing out on the on the beach are a couple of shark hunters. They're younger in their teens. They're about the same age as you. Uh, one female and and one male that are standing out there. Um, there's a couple of other people standing around that don't quite look like them, but they still have harpoons in their hands. Um, these guys, you don't know what their purpose is there, but they look like they might be like moderating the competition. All right. <clears throat> um, as soon as he's able to like try to blend in with a crowd or whatever, uh, he's going to attempt to do that. Not only so that when people like look at our group, they see less and expect less, but maybe to also get a discount. <laughs> on on what? On, on if it's like per person. On harpoons. Yeah. Oh. yeah I, I rolled a seventeen. Okay, and remind me what you were looking for. Someone uh, in... someone in charge of the contest. Okay. So you you see people kind of Everybody in this town, what little town there is, um, everybody is kind of congregated around that bar and what looks like, to your eyes, an inn. Um, and people are kind of going in and out. They're coming out with these pretty pink drinks and and they're having a great time. Uh, you see, similar to what Valen saw, you see, you see a couple of people standing out in the water with harpoons getting ready to do something. Um, and then there's a couple of other people standing with harpoons that look like they're just standing there. Um, and otherwise it's, Valen, there's not really a crowd to get into. It is mostly people sitting in chairs, basking in the sun, kids running around. They are sparsed out because while this is a festival, um, it's a very tiny one. Anything else? I'm gonna and, go to someone who looks in charge and ask him, "Hi, uh, is did you know who won the last year? So, is, is, is are they competing again?" The the person that you walk up to is just sitting there sipping a drink, and he's he's he 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 doesn't necessarily look in charge. He's just bigger and broader, and looks like he might know something. Uh, he kind of just looks down at you, and he's like. No, nah, we normally have 
new people every year. It gets gets a little crazy around here sometimes with do the shark have, hunting. Do you have any advice for some rookie shark hunters? Uh, if you value your limbs, don't do it. <laughs> and he just kind of like sips his drink and goes and sits down like right by the bar. I, I do value them. <laughs> and uh, what else you can what else you can see as you kind of get towards this bar uh, if you guys are kind of just meandering about the bar area if that's where is that where you're all kind of headed towards is this area that looks like it's involved mm -hmm. okay um, so as you guys kind of show up, the, the Asimar, of course, is turning heads. And there's like a couple of like younger girls that are just like, oh, my God, <laughs> I can't believe an Asimar came here. Kind of a thing. Um, I know. Yeah. And, and Valen, you sort of just blend, you blend in like you. It, every, everybody here is either sipping drinks or relaxing. You are a little odd because you're all like clothed. Most people here don't have a lot of clothes on. Fair. But you fit in enough. No one's asking questions. So are they now we're in the bar? You yeah, you guys you guys have started to meander and, around the bar. There's people um, sitting around drinking, eating, and there's a bartender behind the bar who's quickly serving people. She's an older, like probably in her mid twenties, very tanned, just very very live. And it's very clearly lived here for a long time. Um, and is just quickly whipping through the through the orders that she has. Out on the beach, people are sitting around. And of course, those shark hunters are off on the beach, just kind of standing there, waiting to waiting to get started. So uh, hi. You, uh, how's how's what's your name? Right, who are you talking to, the bartender? Yes. Uh, she she kind of comes up. My name is Leah. Hello, are you Leah. are you looking for a drink? I wanted to ask you if you know any good places for shark hunting. You know, some place that bigger, father sharks. And yes, we're gonna have that drink because you can get information without having a drink before. Okay. Uh, one second. I'll be right back with your Palma Flora. And she goes and she fills up this like fruity pink drink and places it in front of you. And she's like, you know, I've watched this shark hunt for quite a long time. And it seems like every year the sharks are in different places. Um, but most of the time you can catch pretty big ones right out where those guys are. If you're interested in being part of the shark hunting team um, or competing, I can sign you up right here. And she kind of points to a to a log sheet of Yes, we're gonna do that. Okay. We are short hunters. Okay. It doesn't cost anything to enter. Uh you you simply give up your catch after you've caught it. Uh as it does go to feed our, our little town. See Voss, it's okay. What is your name? I'm more than one, but everybody calls me Morty. Morty. Okay. So I've got Morty. Is there anyone else who's going to be playing? I Russell. Oh, yeah. I probably raise my hand. She kind of looks, uh -huh. she kind of like has to get up over the edge of the bar and look down at you. And she's like, honey, you might have a hard time with all that cl clothing. Um, you can do what hey. you want. What's your name? Uh, I sign and cast President's Station and say Russell. Valen Russell. steps out of the crowd and is like, obviously another person who's fully cold is like, we'll be just fine. Thank you for your concern. Okay. What are you playing? Are you, are you going to, are you hunting? Yeah. He writes his name on the list as he's talking. Oh, it's our secret weapon. She, she, she erases his name where he wrote it and puts it in the actual line where it goes. <laughs> My bad. And, and she kind of looks up at the, at the tall Asimar and she's like, never seen one of you guys. Heard about you, though. You're a lot bigger than I thought. What? Are you hunting? Or is he just slowly nods? Okay. She's the bait. 
That's a big bait. She writes, big, what's, your, what's your name? For big sharks. Big sharks. <laughs> <Morzuth>. <laughs> he high fives Morty as they say it in unison. Morzuth. Okay, so just so you guys are aware, there's already a 30 pound shark that's been caught that's hanging up. Uh, we will we will hang the bigger sharks as they come on to shore. Uh, right now, in the lead is uh, Joa. Joa is currently in the lead. Uh, that uh, looks with, with what I read about sharks, do I know if thirty pounds is big shark or? Okay. It's pretty. It's pretty pretty small. You know, you know that it's. I mean, from the from finding those like biology books, a thirty pound shark is the size of a small dog. <laughs> okay, okay. And and what? Would a a medium uh, sized dog. A big yeah. shark. How how much would it be? Uh, a big, a big shark. shark. A, a big shark could probably be like a hundred pounds. Okay, that's what we need, guys. A hundred pound shark. Hundred pounds. I'm gonna quickly like go to the water edge. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to bring my uh, bird off my shoulder, since he's always there, if no mm -hmm. nowhere else. And I'm going to speak to him with uh, my Averin language that I know. Okay. As quietly as I can, and ask him, would he be fine with being a fish for a while? Oh, you don't, don't do, you don't have to do that. <laughs> and I pull out from my coat a uh, weird head, balloon-shaped chicken head that ends in Would you even tentacles. know what I'm talking about? No, you... but yeah, it's ten gold. I... Okay, do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, damn it, I was uh, just, for this. just so you know, uh, my family the... right now is an octopus. The bird, the bird kind of it's an octopus Con with chicken face. It's an octopus with a chicken face. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, the bird kind of like cocks its head at you and is just, it just like silently nods a, a little bit. And it, you can tell he's not a big fan of wanting to be changed, but that you're his master. He'll do what he'll do. A what bird's eye view might you, come in you, handy you more want, than a fish. You want him to do. Well, he, he kind of unless... speaks up a little bit sense to it because i wouldn't want to be changed and no he just he just nods like yes i yes i will but you can tell he's a little uh just a little reserved about it he likes his shape all right then <laughs> no is a no dude and love the consent and he uh he uh he kind of like looks up at the sky and he kind of nods to I... like to towards the air well, I then I asked if he wants to make a um, bird's eye view for a, give us a bird's eye view. He just ah, and like takes off. All right. He has a plus three to perception, by the way. So okay, yeah, give a, yeah, yeah. Give me, a, so, give me. So, are we ready for hunting? Uh, so the uh Leah leans over the bar and she's like. You see those two standing out there? Those are our two competitors so far. And um, the two other people standing next to them, they will provide you harpoons for fishing. So uh, you don't need anything, you don't need to bring anything. Uh, anything is on the table as far as abilities are concerned. We have had a couple of mages participate in the past. Uh, can sometimes get interesting. So uh, yeah, feel free uh, to wander up whenever you're ready. I walk towards uh, uh, Russell. Before they leave, Valen asks her a yes. quick question. Turns her, is like, so are we not allowed to keep any of the shark? Like, if we give the big one over and we give that to the people, cool. But is there like, oh, but there's this shark over here for my family that I would like to feed? Oh yeah, I, any anything extra? Okay. If you catch a bigger one, you you can lay claim to obviously, but the big one stays with us. I, I thank you just for clarification. And he's like, I'll take a pint to go. He pulls out. Okay. And she. Silver. Oh yeah, yep. she was bringing drinks. 
And she kind of she kind of smiles at the ASMR again, and is just like leaning on the bar. He just winks at her. <gasps> she kind of just busy gets gets herself busy and goes back to what she's doing, trying not to <laughs> not trying not to look at him anymore. All right, so we have two people drinking and two people not. <laughs> Valen finishes his pipe and looks at Marzuth and quietly says to himself, <laughs> Beat in Aww. My rolls are starting to equalize, dude. No. <laughs> They're Hello? coming back. Sad. Can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure. My rolls. <laughs> There's like my table, <laughs> like when we were playing in real life. Oh, no. So Valen, you're trying to talk to Morzuth about what now? Oh, no, no, no. He he just kind of like watched that interaction, like finished his pint, and was like, bait indeed. <laughs> More than you know. <laughs> All right. So, um, what are you doing now? Um... I was walking towards Russell, who was doing something else. Oh yeah, he's talking to his raven. So the ra the raven is out circling. At the moment, he doesn't see any. He doesn't really see anything. He can he can see some he can see some shadows moving in the in in the water, and you can tell that there's at least there's at least shark to be hunted. But that's all he can tell you. Are there sharks around our feet if we get into the water? Uh, no, you gotta swim out a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna take Basil, my chicken octopus, from my coat and throw it to the water. Okay. And it goes uh, in. Splat. And then it kind of... Oh, down. I have several teen questions. <laughs> leave it to the bar. He's yeah. just, like, uh, awestruck and, like, not disgusted, but, like, not not disgust. Just he's never seen a chicken puss before. I'm watching through his eyes. Okay, what? Uh, give me a perception check for what is this for? Uh, uh, yeah, we have to do this. Uh, perception is wisdom, right? Or yes. Then it's just see you. I think I have. Uh, 17, uh, natural 17. Ooh. Yeah. So as you're, keep in mind when you, when you do those types of perception checks, you are blind on the ground. Yes. Uh, and and death. Yeah. You're blind and deaf uh, on the ground. It's 19 because okay. it has a plus two perception. Okay. Um, one. and so he kind of, he's just kind of moving along. Um, and very quickly, uh, give me, can he do a stealth check? Yes, yes, the fact is, is uh, skis plus four. Okay, give me give me a stealth check if you want to not be seen by the yeah. sharks. I do want that. And that's uh, 10 plus four, 14. Okay, so as he gets about 40 feet out from the beach, you can see there is a cluster of reef sharks, all of them, they're, they're not, they're not in the feeding, but they, for whatever reason, they're just sort of all staying together in, in, in an area about 40 feet off. And, um, they are, they vary in size. So you see a couple that you would assume are maybe 30 to 40 pounds. And then there's one that is way bigger than all the rest. Uh, very clearly looks like it could be like a pregnant female. Or something, uh, but it is it is like a hundred to a hundred and fifty pounds, just massively round, uh, and then the rest taper from there. So you've got a couple of like ninety pounders, a couple of forty five. So you can you can see a good pile of them out about a good solid eighty feet out into the water, okay, and probably I, like thirty feet down. I push back, uh, Basil. And I point uh, Russell to the area. Uh, can you see with your bear from about there? I think there's some. I use my reaction to like slap his hand down before he has a chance to point. Uh, what? 
Well, like, well. This is a competition. Don't go telling everybody what everything is. I mean that way. It's the other way around. That way. <laughs> and I wink at both. Eh? <laughs> he smiles. He goes, you're learning. Um, then I'm going to go blind and deaf myself and see through my raven's eyes uh, with the point of direction from um, Mor Morty. Could I have a advantage. advantage on this? Yes. Okay. Yep, my rolls are coming back to me, Thale. <laughs> Woo! I saw it. I saw it. I saw that five yeah. first, though, baby. Yeah. Okay. So you get what? What's your bird's name again? I'm sorry. Uh, Ubulu. his name is Ubulu. what the hell? Oh, it was on my other character sheet. Damn it. Um, you, you did someone write down my bird's name? It was I, like Wolm. I have written down El Vulu, but I'm not sure. Oh, that one. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, that's that's something I forgot about. It's okay. Your oh, bird. Well, we'll call it your bird, and you can tell me his name later. So your bird sails out to where roughly uh, you were told that 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 um, pod of sharks was, and um, you can the bird can see like shadows moving within like probably like an eighty foot range of of different like but they're not leaving this eighty foot range of of space. So you can see them and you can see a couple of other shadows that are less mobile in the water, but they're but that is because because they're far enough down um and you're high enough up and they're under the water, that's all you can see is these what looks like a pile of sharks moving in an eighty foot circle. Uh, kind of meet aimlessly, and then three or four other shadows that aren't moving. And which ones are the biggest of the shadows? Uh, there's there's a big long shadow, the the one that I described to uh, the the bigger <laughs> shadows are the ones that are moving aimlessly, and then there's three smaller shadow, three or four smaller shadows that you see kind of off to the sides of this eighty foot. <laughs> Okay. Um, he's uh, Volan's gonna mark the location, but wander off. Okay. So not to alarm anyone else. Okay. And just fly freely until he gets tired. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna come back to my senses, turn to Marty, Morty, and uh, sign details. Okay. Okay. So we have the location of a big fat shark or two. How do we do this? The other two are around, right? The the other yeah, the other two uh, shark hunters no, are uh, most. I mean, Morsul and Vos. Oh, yeah, we're yeah, with they're... you. We're all together. Mm -hmm. Are we on the boat? We haven't even gotten on the boat. And no, the we're water, right? we're on the beach. Yeah, judge. So yeah, all right. there's no there's no boat. <laughs> there's there's no boat. If we gotta swim out to them. Oh, but anyways, um, that changes the game. I'm going to sign restrictions question mark. So, um, if you want, if you want long reaching harpoons, you're going to have to go talk to the other oh, yeah. two, uh, that are standing by the beach along with the shark hunter. Okay. Who's getting harpoons? I'm going to just. Put my nine gold in some uh, Marty's hand. Morty's hand, since he's the one who's usually been talking. And then I'm gonna go back to the bar to talk to the barmaid. Okay. <laughs> you gave me gold. Nine gold worth. Yes. What for? To talk to the harpooners. No. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. yeah. To get get supplies because uh, oh. information is key, and I don't know about that. Uh, I, I I was under the impression that the harpoons were free. You don't know. Yeah, that, that's yeah. why I give you gold. You don't okay. know. Um, Voss goes okay. with the money. Okay, so Mor Morty and Morty and Voss are going up to talk to the people ho holding the harpoons, and Russell is going up to the bar maid. Morzuth, what are are you following with Voss and Morty, or what are you doing? 
Yeah, he's going with Voss and Morty. Okay, okay. Uh, so, Russell, you come up to the bar, and uh, Leah just kind of leans over to the counter, and she's she's trying to trying to make eye contact with you, but realizes she she can't see anything um, except a, a, a pile, and she's like, "Can I help you?" I say, uh, "Well, I sign restrictions, shark hunting, or shark hunting uh, restrictions." Um, there isn't many. You have to be able to swim. You have to be able to hit things with a harpoon. Um, the, the reef sharks are actually really docile, so it's not, it's not life-threatening to go out and, and hunt them. Um, but you've got, you know, you don't have to breathe underwater. I, most of, most of the people here can't breathe underwater. They, they, we've had a couple of ma- we have a, we've had a couple of mages come through and they they have like bubbles on their heads and stuff and that works for them and and they can see better and they hunt better and oftentimes they win but um, that there's not really any restrictions you just have to catch the biggest shark. N- uh, females off limits. Um, Pregnancies, no- things like that. No, we don't, we don't, um, hesitate. They are a bit of a, uh, well, a, a nuisance, if you will, um, to our fishing, our standard fishing. So we, we call, we call the herd pretty regularly. Large females are large females. I shake my head and then <laughs> go back to the group. Okay. Bye. All right. So, who's going to go talk to this taller, um, we'll make him a sea elf, this tall, green, very lithe sea elf who's standing next to the other two shark hunters holding uh, several harpoons in his hand. Voss is back up on this. Hello. So he's, he's, and I grab uh, one of the harpoons, like, you know, very he, clumsy, he, like, very he, dangerous, like, he, how does this work? You're going to have to, you have to give me a sleight of hand to yank him out of his hand because he's got oh, a hold yeah. of all of them. I thought there was like, <laughs> you know. No, no, they're no, not, they're no, not it, just it, sticking it, in the ground. It seems, if he's in his, his hands, I, I will respect that. Okay. He kind of just leans back and he's like, he kind of looks you over. Is it, you're going shark hunting? Yes. And I'm probably going to win. How mm-hmm. does this work? Can I? Can so, I one? Yeah, so you don't swing it. I don't, but he, but he very, I, I, I very point sh- it to my face. <laughs> like, That's not how it works. Uh, can you set, set it down. Thank you. Uh, okay. He's probably going to use it. And, uh, I, and he, give it, and he just takes it. it. He takes it back from you. <laughs> I was going to give him to Morsu. And he looks it's over like at Morzuth and he's like... I'm Morzuth. Valen uh, puts his uh, hand out. Just a serious look on his face. Okay. And he hands, he hands one done. over to you. Mm, he just up to me. holds it like he's supposed to. Oh. Okay. So are these free for participants or... We well, really you, have you, to pay? you can't you can't keep them. Uh, you have to you have to give them back when you're done. But uh, they're to help you keep that's most scary. of the most of the big catches are caught with these things, so it's to level the playing field for anybody That's who's ever fishing. Right. Um, per, do these have like the the like the hole in the back for like tying a rope or securing something? It's got. I mean, it's got a thing for like a, a wrist hold, so that you can throw it and then pull it back. But no, like it's uh, usually long in the point, range in the tail, thing. I think. All right. No, it's a it's a lot like it's got like a rope attached to it. Oh, all right, attached all right. To your wrist right. that you when you throw it, it can only go out so many feet, and then mm-hmm. you have to pull it back. It's just like any other fishing spear. All right, is so there, I could add my like rope. Many... Go rev. Is there what? Is if there's any limit to how many harpoons can we carry? You each each person gets one. <laughs> okay. Each person gets one. It's it's at this point that I need all of you to make a perception check. Uh, 
Goof. Night. Oh, nope. Yeah. Holy shit. You have a... You're a paladin? Mm -hmm. With a negative to wisdom? Oh, God. (laughs) Sorry. Paladins use wisdom? For all of their stuff. Well, no. They use charisma. That's right. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. You're beautiful. They're not, they're, I was waiting for you to figure that I out. Was coming I just, to, it's coming through. Just, Shut up. You're beautiful. I was going to wait for it to whip it out and just be like, well, bam, look at this charisma. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, wait, are you prettier than me? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. What's your What's your charisma, you son of a bitch? 15. Ha-ha! 16. But nobody sees it. 15. <laughs> Mine, too. <laughs> Bunch of pretty motherfuckers around here. Right? That's what... Uh, we'll talk about EXO after, but that's like um, their whole party is sexy. Uh, Russell, did you roll? I, I'm not there, remember? Oh, you're still in your bird. You haven't come back. You were coming. No, no, no. Right? It, it's because I was at the bar. This is no, no. Bar. I need. Nope. I need everybody. Oh, okay. Everybody, um, everybody make perception. Oh, it's a new shark. 30 pounds. Is... Should my bird also make it? Or no? Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. He's not on the ground. Yeah, I was just asking because he's free, free flying. 15. Okay. So. Oh, damn. Uh, sorry, Morty, you were a. Uh, uh, seven. Yeah. Seven. Okay, so. Crap. Morzuth, Russell, and, and Valen. All of a sudden, you all, you all feel. You feel this before you see this. The ground all of a sudden. <laughs> just starts to shift and you can hear this large it's it's far away but it's but it's getting louder it's just and then all of a sudden 15 foot waves just come up off the front of the beach and the whole island underneath their feet just shifts and all of a sudden people leah behind the bar is over the bar and running north and all the people, they are just screaming and running. And you see a couple of the, the two shark hunters that were standing out in the front. They're just standing there a little stunned. And they're just holding their harpoons ready. I'm still uh, watching my harpoon like this. <laughs> Not realizing yep, that 15 yep, feet <laughs> wave <laughs> in, my, in my back. Oh, shit. Uh, Voss grabs, uh, basically drops the harpoon. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, well, it's a. Te- oh no, he stows it. Sorry, because it, it can be stowed, right? I can put it around my put, back or something. There's yeah, an easy... yeah, you could you could put it around your back. All right, yeah. He does that, and grabs them, and just books. <laughs> he sees giant fucking yeah. waves coming. He's like, yeah. we, um... there's just big fifteen foot waves that are all of a sudden crashing, and right as right as the waves kind of hit the first the first round, mm-hmm. um, the the shark hunters. All of a sudden, after the wave clears and you can see, they are pointing at something as four seguin come up out of the water. You don't know what those are. They're large fish men. And they are coming after those two shark hunters. Does this what count? Doing? What are you guys doing? <laughs> Morsu's pointing and looking around for an official going, does this count? Everybody is already, like, most of the people, like, the commoners, if you will, have already started running. There, There's only there's only one way off this island, um, and it's a bridge that's on the north side of the island. So that's where everybody is running to. How far are this, uh, the Sahagan? They, so, from where you guys are, where you were talking to the officiates and the shark hunters, you're probably... 50 feet from the shark hunters and the saguin are uh, probably like almost within combat range of those two shark hunters. All right. And what's the range on the harpoon? Uh, 60 feet. And what time is this? It is mid afternoon. It's like one in the afternoon nice. at this point. I think I have, uh, I have to add the harpoon to myself, don't I? I, I if, haven't if you realized wanna... yet, right? Yeah, because I'm, a, I'm a, literally about to huck this harpoon at a Sahagan. Why and... not just make a dex, uh, dex throw? Mm. That's what you're going to be using. Yeah, that's fair, I guess. 
So what, just a dex check? Yeah, go ahead and just give me a dex check. And add, no, I wouldn't even add my proficiency because I'm not proficient. No, because so you're yeah. not proficient. Well, so what, what kind of weapon would it be falling under? Exotic? Or... It's a throne. Well, no, it's a it's, it's a martial exotic. weapon. I'm just not proficient with it. Is it martial exotic? Yeah, it's a, it's it's a martial weapon. It's just like your standard spear. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so I'll just do that. That was a question because some classes have all kind of weapon abilities. But yeah, go ahead. Okay, so you you throw this thing and it, it and it and it flies past the two shark hunters mm -hmm. just uh, well like by it by yeah. them, um and they one's a boy one's a girl and Joa is the boy he kind of yeah. looks down and he sees yeah, it and I'm yelling at them fucking move as I run and and they and they look back and they both look back behind you and the girl turns around and just starts kind of running towards you and she's like I think the whole island is sinking. That's quite a revelation to just suddenly throw on us. All right, all right. And she's like, I'm running to the ships. Joa, yeah. I don't know what the hell you're doing. And she's like, but I'm I'm leaving. And Joa kind of turns and he's like, this is my moment of glory. I'm not going to stand here and blah, blah, blah. Take this. And he just te tears off after these segments. He's going to go fight him. Ah, uh, the dumb. Yep, and he goes and he, he gets in contact with these segments. He starts fighting them. Roll initiative? Up to you. Are you guys gonna about the shark competition? Are you guys I'm still, gonna... I'm still five minutes behind. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, right. laughs> at this it's uh, at this point, Morty, you've heard of Alan's scream that all of a sudden you look over and you realize hmm. the beach the beach is all of a sudden a lot closer than it was. Mm. Competition is gone. We're gonna win this. <laughs> Damn you, Al Gore. <laughs> All right. So you guys, uh, what do you? Think? Um, yeah, yeah. Are you he's... gonna go help the shark Warden. hunters? You gonna go? So how many have we seen? How many enemies there are? Um, so there's four. There's four saguin that have come up out of the water that you can four. see that are that are moving towards the beach, and they are they are starting to engage Joa, who's who's fighting them. Um, they've also managed to slaughter a couple of commoners that were just kind of swimming on the beach and um you see the other the other shark hunter which hold on uh named alonza she's she's told you that she thinks that it that the island is sinking based on the giant waves and what they see and she has said i'm running to this boat mm -hmm. um but do you guys... Valen's 100% moving to a boat. Because before okay. you can help others, you can't be, like, fucking drowning. Okay, so she's over by the... She's getting towards the boat. Um, and you guys, if you want to make perception checks for other things, feel yes. free if um, you want to. But just tell me what you're what you're trying to look for, what you're trying to, trying to do. He's was so sudden. Everybody's gone. He's... Uh, oh. The bitch is here. He, out of everybody, get to a boat. Think on, think on your feet. We have to move. And he's like running towards the boat. He's gonna, you know, no, I'm gonna say that. Uh, yeah, um, or Zeus is going <laughs> to the boat too. Yeah, he's yeah, I'm gonna follow both orders. He's like, all okay. right, we so get to the said... boat, and then we get that boat over to help her brother. Okay, so Joa is fighting. He's saying, and all four of them are starting to encircle him. Okay. All right, give me just a second here. Austin, are you moving? Are you moving with the party? You're going to the boat. Um, well, I was away from the party when the thing hit, so yeah, um, you're at the but you're you hear at him the yelling. bar. So, just with a 13 passive perception, what do I see? With a 13 passive perception, you can you can tell that like so most of the commoners have now run north past the statue, and you can see that like the. With a passive perception, you can kind of tell that, like, it's not, it is sinking, but it's not sinking at the same rate. There's areas that look more submerged than others. Okay. Um, do I see my part? Do I see the other individuals of my party and what they're doing? 
Yeah, you can see them starting to run towards the sh- runs run towards the docks where the ships are. All right. Um. Well, then I'm, and someone's one of my party staying behind. No, they're all oh. starting to go that way. Okay. Well, I'm I'm gonna just head my way, head that way too. Okay. All right. So, um, as you guys, uh, Valen is keeping an eye past the Sahagan. To see if there's mm-hmm. something bigger that created that 15 foot wave that they're missing. Mm-mm. There's nothing out. There. Well, give me a perception check. Fair. You already answer. Yeah, I'm like, ow. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. not letting. Give me, give me a perception. Yeah, I'm check. doing it. And how far are they? Fourteen. The sad one that you that you were fighting. Yes. Okay. Um, they're, so they're, if you guys have run away, they are, they're beyond 60 feet from you. If you guys are all running towards the ship, um, I would, I would put them, eh, you're probably like 80 feet away from them now. Oh, I thought we were going to get, and I selling this to Vos. I thought we were going to get a boat to fight them. We're getting, that's what we're doing. Boat them. First things first. The opposite direction. Okay. <clears throat> it's procedural. I'm not a strong enough swimmer to fight like this. Reef sharks I could have dealt with, but these are different. I've never seen what the fuck these are, and quite frankly, I'm not looking to get too close. I will if I have to, but let's be smart. Brave, but smart. Mars dude pulls out his crossbow and just, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're right. you're going to be yeah. fun in the springtime, aren't you, boy? Give me just a second, then, <clears throat> and I will load Uh-oh. our combat. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh, it's no, no, two o'clock my time. Oh, two o'clock my time. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Oh, they're the green fish people. Okay. Yep. I need... Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. Just give me... Sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. What are we we talking about? I I hit a button. Yeah. I'm I'm exploring the new things I didn't really see because I've been doing 90 different things for this stream. Okay, I got you. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, so that's what they look like. Yeah, they're just green, terrifying monsters. Yeah, I I know of like two different kind of fish people. Mm -hmm. That's not playable versus. I was wondering which one it was. It was those ones. Alright. Oh shit. Oh shit. Move you guys over here. No oh, shit. I'm excited because this is the first like thing like don't like that she's set up. So I'm like excited. Yeah. You don't have a token. You do not own any token with vision in the scene. Hey, so I is my mouse I... where you see my name? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, do you guys me... see mine too? Yeah. Are we all together Just... huddling? Hold on. <laughs> I'm working on it. Yep. Give me a second. Uh, right, I'm just enjoying the click pile puddle. Mm. All right, so there's mm. you all should be coming up into the ah. Yep, there we are. <laughs> oh, all right. So, you guys, uh, as you start to run towards the the beach, uh, you see the the war- the warrior woman or the the shark hunter that spoke to you earlier is already starting to like run towards the ship. The other two skips that were there that brought you here Mm -hmm. have both dipped out. They are gone. The only ship left is this bigger, larger ship at the bottom. Um, And you can see as you approach it, there are four people battling two Saguin and four giant crabs. Roll initiative? Roll initiative. The memories Um, of the crabs. Before I roll, can I position myself a little ahead of everyone, given my speed? Yeah. All right. 
and me behind everyone else since I wouldn't be near them. Natural 20. That's... Oh shit, that's sexy, bro. He's out there. Fuck. Now I have to roll for initiative. Damn, I got a 19. That's still not That's okay. not bad. It's respect. All right, Remember, so... you can pop out the initiative tracker, everyone. As you, thank you. As you guys guys approach, uh, two of the two of the bandits are like, or bandits, two of the two of the pirates or whatever they are on this ship, they shout to you like, "Thanks for help!" and they and they take off to to try to get the to try to get the ship to set sail. Hmm. So they that that is just what you see. They're like, "Thanks for help!" and then they they dip out. So now you have two bandits that are fighting one, two, three, four, five, six things, and you are approaching. There are three bandits. Well, that no, no, no. This this tribal warrior is the um, shark hunter. The what? The one in to the left. Yes. Okay. Ah, this initiative tracker is gonna drive me crazy. The there we oh. go. I only see three of us, not Marty. Oh, Marty. Yeah, I'm there. I see. I see Marty. I don't see. No, Morty. Mor Morty. Oh, okay. I'm next to you. No, no, no. On the initiative tracker. Oh. Oh, there okay. we go. Oh, there we go. It's because I'm rolling. <laughs> Holy in shit. The end of Oh, all right. Well, and here. I like your dice. Yeah. Uh... And you're rolling for something? Every time you roll for one of your monsters, <laughs> one of the uh, initiative trackers that I can hide on hide that you put in so, mm -hmm. just keeps popping up. Yeah. I liked how every time she rolled two, more Zeus got further and further and further <laughs> and further and further and further and further. Yep. Okay. Uh, you said you got a 20? Yeah, I roll here. I don't know if. It's no, like it's... rune lords that you have to. Yeah, I can. Sh I think I can change it. Give me a second. To roll here, so. Let me it find. Puts me on the you. list. Yeah, just yeah. Roll for yourself. Okay, not, not, I I roll. Uh, that I roll a twenty on the other place. Yeah. So, what would that be with your initiative? Is it like a plus Natural two? Natural twenty. Mm, no, it's, it's a plus zero. I oh, plus okay. Zero. So it's twenty. Okay. There. Okay. So, Morty, is, is there a hat in the left, uh, like a wall? The, mm, that is like a cover. I mean. Mm, um. Like, yeah. That's no, it, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a wall. It's not very. It's like a, a five foot wall that just keeps kind of the, the wind from like blowing through the bar. Okay, I'm gonna one, two, three, four, five. Go here, and okay. I'm gonna cast minor illusion here. Do you see my mouse? Yep. And I'm gonna make like a copy of. Of Valen running away, running in the direction of the crabs, but I'm not sure how this works in combat. So I, I mean, how how I, much I can move an illusion? I know I can move it, but I don't know how far I, or when. I think you can move it three. I think you can move it thirty feet. Um, but the creature gets a DC save of some kind. No minor illusion. Uh, just well, it. first, if there's no way, if there's no a hint that you may think it's an illusion, like it's a wall, a wall, you don't check a wall. If it's a creature like this, you have to make an intelligence check. Yeah, against your spell save DC. Yeah, but I, okay. I'm gonna place it here in here where no, this is violent. Just next to boss, but one feet, five feet ahead. Right here? Okay. okay, I see where I don't you're know if I can put something to mark it. 
Yeah, I just marked it. So it's five foot by five foot, that, okay. that pur purple thing. Yeah, and that's yep. my turn. Okay. And it's, is it supposed to be running? It's, yeah, no, it's like, you know, like a, 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 a like an old video game. It's like moving like in place. Okay, okay. Breathing and looking alive. All right, Valen, it's your turn. You're muted. There we go, thank you. Um... I will. So, are the bandits enemies? No, they're well. Oh, fuck. Depends on what you do with them. Right, uh, no, they're just they're people that are actually crewing that ship. Oh, all right, all right. That are trying to fight off those those creatures. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, he starts off because they're definitely in range of my gun. I am going to, oops, oh, I moved the inventory wrong, because I'm an idiot. Uh, fuck me. Uh, I'm going to use my pistol to attack this, can you see me highlighting this Sagan? Yep. Okay, that one. Twenty-two. Oh yeah, that hits. All right, now for damage. Okay. So 22 hits and you did six points of damage? Is it 10. 10 points of damage, okay. Yeah, you just, and he just takes it right in the shoulder and he kind of turns over to where it came from and he just, and is now like looking directly at you and distracted from one of the bandits. And uh, he yells out, "We'll we'll survive better together." And he said, kind of like over to the ship. <clears throat> and the do you see these these two uh, these these two people are just like, like yeah, and they. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, uh, and he ducks behind the silent image. Okay, so and now there's... As a hide action. Okay. And I'll roll okay. stealth. Do I get an advantage on stealth because of the thing or no? Uh, yeah, why not? Just throwing that out there. Fuck! Didn't help, didn't really help you. No, but hey, 14's not the worst. Yeah, I mean, that saving that you shot, shot still absolutely yeah. is Oh, all right. Um, okay. So now it's this bandit's turn. Oh, I got more movement, right? It's not, I... Yeah. Oh, I hey, took a five-foot step. Um, can I use my bonus action to reload? Uh, you, didn't you use your bonus action to hide? Yeah, you did. Is it now... Now that's a separate action because I have cutting action. You only have one bonus action per turn, dude. I thought yeah. it was per action. I didn't understand what it meant. Sorry. I thought it was no, like... So Cunning action mm. allows you to use a bonus action as an action. So oh, all right, all right. normally you are not allowed to hide in the same instance that you do something okay. else. Okay. Then So I'll your hide was your speed. cunning action. Okay, then I will move half my speed now that I think I'm hiding. Okay. Can you take a five foot step? Um I I'm going to keep go like the idea is I'm moving while stealthing. It's not the five foot step is just my movement, right? I can use. Yeah, half your movement and stealth. Yeah. Yeah. So I can get. Uh, actually, I think I can just get here on the other side of you, because I have forty, so it's twenty. Okay. All right. So this bandit is gonna, since it's his turn, oh, he is going to. He's gonna take a swipe. That the guy standing right in front of him. Did that? No, did um, There. Ooh. He got lucky. That hits, and so he would do damage. Nice. So seven. 
Okie dokie. So you see, you see this bandit just swing and catch this other Sagwin in the side. Uh, and he is there locked in combat. All right. Uh, next. Who's next? Uh, Me. Russell, you're next. So which of them are, is being hurt? Both of the Sagwin have been hit once. Uh, the one, the one on the left is more. Is there a friendly within that, within five feet of that part? Yes, there is, since they're being in combat. Okay. So that is a no go. Then I Um, guess I I should move them so that they're actually in combat, but that's roughly where they would be. Yeah. Um. Well, that takes out ice knife then. (laughs) Uh. I mean, you've got you've got crabs that are closer to you and farther away. Well, oh, okay. Um, I'm just going to then magic missile. And so. Okay. Magic missile. And I get three of them. I don't get any more, so all of them going to. Uh, oh. God damn, dude. Those are Austin rolls. You don't get it, man. Yeah, no, those those are my my rolls. He's he's Wheaton esque. It's right. Okay, so six he, damage to which one? To this guy. The sag one. Okay. Yeah. So six more damage. Okay. And now it is the uh, crab's turn. Which crab is this? <laughs> so many things. Um, mm. this one. So he's gonna move over here, and he is going to start attacking the boat because he's gonna try to sink the boat. That bastard. Yep. yep that's why I'm trying to cure them first. They're the smart ones. <clears throat> they're they're well. I can't tell you that. Oh jeez. Okay. Boat takes six damage. And you just see him start to like dig his claws into the boat. This one here? Pulling pieces of wood. Yep. All right. Uh, Okay. And. I need to get rid of that. (laughs) This Sagwin is going to take a swipe at the guy that just hit him. Um, He is going to spear him. Maybe. And, a, whew, and he misses. She is she is running this way to try to get around these guys. Um, how many feet was that? 15, 15. Yeah, she's got that. And she is going to get up. Do the spears have a 10-foot reach? I can't remember. Uh, let me see here. I think they naturally... Yep, range of 20 to 20 feet. So she is going to try to spear this crab. Yeah, buddy, she hits him hard. They have a throw range, 20 feet. Yep. All right, so he takes three damage. So many things. Uh. Oh my god, these crabs, yo. Okay. That initiative tracker. <laughs> Ridiculous. <Crab> armor. <laughs> Make so, a crab armor, Marty. Great. <laughs> well, having been speared by her, he's going to turn around and he's going to move up and he's going to take a swipe at her. Oh yeah, he hits her. It so failed. many characters. Damn. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And now this one. Which is this one. Not really having much intelligence, as I'm sure. Moves this way, it takes a swipe at the invisible thing. 
Um, but we'll give him his intelligence check just to. But intelligence checks is an action in itself. That's, that's the point, point of the illusions. Yep, that's what he's yeah, so that's what he's doing. To make enemies waste actions. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Minus five. <laughs> what is your DC? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, it's uh, intelligence plus ten plus level or something like that. Your DC, if it's the same as mine, would be 14. So the spell DC. Yes. Okay, yeah, so... Go, go to your spell tab and on D&D Beyond. It has modifier spell, ta spell attack and spell DC right at the top. Oh yeah, so DC 14. Okay, so he he looks down and he realizes that's an illusion. I don't know how he's such a smart crab, but he's like, Meh. Damn it. Hey, and then he's gonna he's gonna use the rest of his movement. Let's see, he was 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30? Question mark? Is that how many? Yeah, 30. So he's gonna move here and he is going to face you. Alright. Um uh, Morzuth, it is your turn. Oh, uh, crab crushing time. Who brought the butter? Well, I brought this, the crossbow. He's going to crossbow the one that's facing the group. Okay. Oh, it's a heavy crossbow. Shit. Oh, yeah. It's called Bolt Goes In, Guts Come Out. <laughs> yeah, that hits. Nice. Just hits. Just hits. Eight. Okay. I'm like mathing in my head. All right. Math is good. Math is heard. Okay. Uh, yeah. You hit him hard as hell. You just see, like, just crab. Like, you see his like carapace like crack as that bolt like sells in and out, and there's just like crab meat that just like gets torn out of him. He's not looking great. Uh. Mm -hmm. All right. It is now. I have so many friends to play with. Uh, <laughs> it's now this guy's turn. <coughs> he I'll be gonna... back real quick. Okay. He's going to take a claw attack at the guy right in front of him. Oh, yeah, he hits him. I don't know why that. Okay, whatever. Oops. Okay. And back to this guy. So many decks. I wish there was a way to just kind of have this like roll itself out. I know there's like some there's of There's probably a macro there. for it. Um, ah. he, let's see, yeah, he hits that guy. Nice. Jesus. Nice. All right, so that's nice. It's a total of 17 oh, yeah. damage to that nice. fucker. I saw right. they were attacking him, not the other way around. Well, if it's this fucker. No, now it's crab fucker turn. And now it's crab, 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 more crabs. Yep, he's going to come up and he's also going to hit the boat. Crap. I'm going to shave, I'm gonna shave after this game. You're going to shave? Yeah, too many crabs. Too many crabs. <laughs> <laughs> so many, so many crabs. Yo. Oh, that doesn't, doesn't really, he like hits the, hits, hits the hull, but it doesn't really give. And he's just like trying to damage the ship. But not succeeding. All right, Morty, it is your turn. Yeah, seeing how this crab face has ignored my perfect illusion, <laughs> I'm gonna hey, this stupid face crab. You don't even know, understand how masterful is this done, and that is vicious mockery. Okay. <laughs> that you have to roll. Uh, 
Uh, wisdom. Yeah, wisdom save. Okay, it's a DC 14. I think it's 13. 13? Because, yeah, because I took this spell from the bard and I have to use my charisma instead of my intelligence. Oh, okay. So wisdom, you said? So the DC is 13 instead of 14. Yeah. Okay. One, one less. Saving throw coming up. Come on, crab, you stupid fuck. Oh, yeah. And yes. and with that, uh, do you damage? Uh, yeah, roll damage. I'm going to roll in D&D Beyond because of the that's fine. dice. And that's a uh, four. Four damage. Oh, jeez. Um, disadvantage in his next attack. Okay. If he managed to attack someone. Okay. And he, I'm gonna move to the corner. He's kind of like he's kind of like got his pincers going and then all of a sudden you say this to him and he just like pulls them inward and he's just like and he gets very sad. And now he's just like he's just like laying on the ground. He's prone and he's just crying. You see little crab tears. And um, Mordi is not aware of of him harming the crab. I mean, I just insult him. Yeah. All right, Valen, it's your turn. Definitely not one to waste uh, an opportunity. And he, once he sees that crab go prone, mm-hmm. he moves. Wait, prone? Yeah, yeah, he fell. He fell. He fell down in his depression. Oh, well, that's that's. And um, I'm still stealthed. Do I need to roll again for this turn? <laughs> I mean, how do you want to do this? Yes, yeah, right. Oh, right. oh. honestly, he just skewers it. <laughs> it's Yeah, he just puts it out of his misery real quick and quiet. Okay. All right. He be dead. All right. And, um, yeah, I'm going to bonus action... Dash over here. and Well, not stealth, but you can... Wait, can I use a bonus action to stealthily move? You'll just move half your speed. All right, I'll do that then. That would put me here. Okay. By the way, what's with all the... The one diagonal one is yeah. mine. The square, um, I did it on the square, on that and press the square the is my key. minor image that using the yeah. foundry asked me if I wanted to put it, but my cat <coughs> crossed my path when I was putting it and I and it dropped there. You, you gotcha. can delete any of those that you don't want with, the, uh, well, with I, clicking I, on it and then pressing the delete key on your keyboard. Yeah, it wasn't it not letting me click on it. That's the problem. Or do I need to yeah, go to the line probably specific? Probably you're gonna yep. have to pick up another tool or something. Maybe the circle. Got it. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it mine because I okay. want to remember <laughs> I have uh, an illusion there. Okay. Yeah, and uh, Valen actually stepped into the illusion with his last bit of movement. Is it a five foot or a fifteen foot by fifteen foot illusion? It's, it's a fifteen foot area. Oh, right. okay, okay. So that that, but that I, but, image can go so anywhere. So my now. guess is that it's a boss size illusion that can move in that area. Okay. All right. The thing is that that my cat went through when I was placing it and then it dropped there. Okay. Oh. All right, yeah. Valen, is that your turn? Did you want it somewhere else? Is that what? Is that? Oh uh, yeah, saying? the idea was you wanted to like step into yeah, the probably, illusion to help probably him hide. another closer to the action, but. It's okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean, because right now it's still inside the house. Yeah. It would probably be one square over, like, where mm. my thing is. But it's still, but it was the first time I was yeah. using this. I didn't even know about the area of effect, so it's okay. That's why we play. Oh, man, he just swing and a miss. <laughs> he's going to stay where he's at because he's engaged. All right, Russell. Um, targets there, there, there. Uh, I'm going to. I don't have any bonus action spells, so I'm just going to target uh, 60 feet 
So I'm going to um, move here. That's 15 feet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to then, because uh, I think I have, no, that's not what, I, that's not the tool that I wanted. This is probably line. Nope, that's cone. That's square. This is the line. Okay. 60 foot, yes. I'm going to cast consumption on that target. You're giving them TB? No. As the... So he needs to make a DC saving throw, 14. Okay. And I expend... Well, I cut my wrist, and as the blood pours out, it then coagulates about an inch or so behind, below my below my hand, and then shoots at him, hitting him. So, 14 DC. Okay. Is it a wisdom? Uh, it's a con. Constitution. Yep. It's... That is a natural one. Yes. Okay, so... Uh, where is it? There, there's a dice. I roll my hit dice. He takes three damage. Aww. But it's concentration. And at the end of his next turn, he must do the exact same thing or take more damage. Okay. Nice. Ooh. And he can, can he sacrifice an action to fight nope. it? Nope, he just, at the end of his turn, makes concentration. Oh, as long as save. your concentration's nice, nice. Yep, yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, crab. Uh, you don't have to make concentrations unless you get hurt, right? Okay. Because I just remember my illusion is also concentration. God, these fucking crabs, dude. Oh, yeah. Dude. Take it again. Yeah, but they're sensitive. Yeah, so is the boat, right. bro. So that's another three damage to the boat. So it's taken nine damage so far. Oh, okay. Um, and now this guy. I like, remember who's who. Okay. He is going to take another swipe. That guy directly in front of him. And he hits. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that the bad. target of my spell? Um, the guy casting? No, the uh, guy hitting. That's... Oh, yeah, the guy hitting? Yes, it is. Okay, so at the end of his turn, so he needs four... to make a concept. 14. Okay, give me just a second. I'm doing math. Do you reroll damage every time? Uh, yeah. Sexy. I like that. Four... I mean, a creeping three damage is still a creeping three. You know what I mean? Like, it's mm -hmm. nothing to scoff at, especially at second level. I was just... But... Okay, and then he said he did not use Constitution. Mm -hmm. Constitution. C-O-M. And it, it's non-damage type. He just takes that damage. That is a 10 for a total of 11. No. All so right. he takes how much more damage? He takes... No, uh, six damage this time. Yes! And you see this guy as as he's like swinging at this bandit. He like finishes his arc of his swing and he just falls back whoosh, into the water. He gone. He gone. Nice shot. I like that spell. I can only do it once. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, now it is our warrior friend's turn, I think. No. Crab. Wait, did you skip the warrior? Oh, guy? I did, yeah. I, I was like, wait a minute. Her. She's gonna... Is that a water elf or a triton? This is a tribal warrior. Oh, oh, I'm a, I misunderstood, sorry. Nice. Yeah, she hits it. <laughs> Three damage. Three a damage. Okay. 
now it's what is this crap? Who who is this crap? Same crap. He's gonna make another claw attack at her since she's right in his face, spearing him. Oh, he misses. Yep. You just see you just see this big claw just slam into the sand and poof. <laughs> you suck. All right. That that guy's dead. All right, more zoo is your turn. Sweet. Morzuth is going to move up to here because my math is always correct and never wrong. <laughs> okay. And he's going to take a shot at... Can he take a shot at one of the crabs or is he... Um, They're kind of up on the boat. So there's a bit of a height. The, the boat sits about probably like 30 feet up out of the water. Okay, uh, he'll take he'll take a shot at one of the people attacking the bandits. Okay, there's only one one left, so make Swing it away. count. Make it count. Boat goes in, guts come out. It's a Simpsons reference. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you hit him. Knife goes in, guts come out. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> You see this big bolt just sail forward and phew, that other guy is just taken clean off of the edge of the, of the dock with the bolt, with the force of the bolt that just pushes him into the water. And you just hear more Zuth go, now let that be a warning to you, mister. <laughs> what happened to the kid down there? <laughs> He's probably dead by now. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, bandit numero... It was... See, he's gonna. <laughs> there's, there's a crab right next to him, so he's gonna swing at him. Oh, yeah, he hits him. And he's like, stop hitting our boat! And then he doesn't do any damage to him. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Two. Okay. And we have one more crab. One more crab. Who is this crab? Oh, it's the crab he hit. Oh, now he's distracted because he got stabbed, so he's going to go after this bandit. And did he hit? Yeah, he hits him. Yeesh. All right. What's happening? That would be more these turn. Okay, I'm gonna go and use a slip on this 20 feet radius cube to mm. catch these two crabs. And that's uh, uh, what is the beat, the guys? So you gotta roll your number of hit dice that you can affect. Yeah, yeah, in a uh, five d eight. Yep. Move cut. Can see the dice. Uh, that's twenty five. Twenty twenty five total. Okay, let's um, let me figure out which ones they are here. Okay, so and one. I one. guess. Oh, let me check. Uh, Austin, I can I. Uh, never mind. It's not a concentration. This one, so it doesn't matter. If you're asking you said, how many concentrations you can have up, you can only yeah. have one. Yeah, but can I when I cast another one, the other one goes out? Goes out. Yes. Yeah, but just. Or, <laughs> yeah, but I can't do that. Okay. Yeah, you can only have one concentration up, and if you so choose so, you can have the effect go off, but it won't stick. Um, I'm not sure about the minor image, if it takes me something to move it uh, in the action economy. Probably bonus action. Yeah, it's a bonus action. To so back. I'm going to move it between uh, Van, Van Vos and Orzut. 
But is is minor illusion a, an also a concentration? No, sleep is not a concentration. Oh, okay. Sleep is, is nothing. It's, uh, okay, and you said 25 total, and it just happens? And it just happens, is yeah. that correct? Yeah, and now you okay. have to subtract from the first one. Do I need, is there something I need to roll? Uh, no, you have No, to, it, it's just to so, hit points. Yeah, okay. it dies. Okay, okay. Oh. So you you see, <laughs> how, how do you cast the spell? It's a lot of chicken feathers falling in their faces and it hypnotizes to sleep. Okay, so as you see these chicken feathers kind of just apparate out of nowhere and they're falling to the ground, they touch these two crabs and all of a sudden one of them just falls off of the boat and the other one falls forward onto the boat. And so <laughs> that guy's gone. But sleep is not dead. No, it's not dead. Uh, he's just asleep and he fell off the boat. So he's under, okay. the, under the water. Uh, and the other one is unconscious on the ground, on the boat. All right, Valen. You muted. Oh, the sleepy little baby. I turn my fan off. Oh, the sleepy little baby. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> That's literally the song that I sing to my kids every night where they oh, like to put them to we, sleep. We watched yesterday. Oh, brother. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> whoop, wrong button. Sorry. But it do. Let's get in my rink. Uh, I can move. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. If you control click, you can see how long, how oh, many thank you. you got. Thank you. I was pressing shift and it wasn't working and I, okay, anyway. It's control. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, so he's obviously, so I get sneak attack damage and advantage on my attack, right? Yeah, if you're, for who? This crab Probably. right here, between me and the yeah. last hunter. Yeah, if you're flanked, yeah, you get sneak attack. All right, sweet. Then I shall. Uh, dagger, dagger. No rapier, sir. Right. And I can't Richard. use my uh, second attack because uh, <clears throat> it's, I have a gun in my hand. And I already oh, shot you can it. use your bonus action to use your rapier again. No, I can't. Can't? Oh, no, oh. I, if it was in my offhand and I had another weapon, then yes. But I only have one weapon. And I, I Anyway, this is... Yeah, just... I'll... Okay. Rapier... Shazam. Does 20 hit? Oh, yeah. All right. 20, and I do damage with my rep here. Uh, damage normal. And, uh, sneak attack. So if I do 8 damage to the Krabbe. All right, and as you as you kind of just go in with your rapier, you, you find just that sweet spot in between the carapace on top and the one on the bottom, and you just find just perfect, just soft meat, nice. and the crab just falls to the side. He did. Nice. Okay. He nods to the tribal warrior. <clears throat> and she's just like, thank you. That was going to kill me. Not well. <laughs> Goes, I'm Voss. No, it wasn't. And uh, and then he points to the boat. Oh, okay. Koki! I just came from afar. So this Cheery, this, cheering on boss. this bandit is gonna take its advantage to try to stab this thing to death. It is helpless. Yeah, it's yep. asleep. It he can't coup coup de bra, it. Yeah. Yep. If it would roll. Can you always, uh, in critical role? Holy role shit! One. Nice. Well, uh, let me see. I, th I think coup de gras is actually a automatic oh. crit. Holy because, shit! Uh, How do you? Uh, no, whatever happened, role, that was they, meant to be. I don't care. Like they just let a uh, giant, but they didn't. He fell on his own sword himself in one hit. <laughs> he. You, you, you see this guy, he goes to swing his scimitar at the sleeping crab and he just falls. He just like slips on the deck because the yeah. crabs have pushed water up on the deck. So he just eats shit. Wait and you just see him, up. you just see his head all of a sudden just, just disappear out of your view. 
Nice. Russell, it's your turn. Um, I'm going to move here, here. Okay, so that's where I move. And then I'm going to, with since those two aren't priority, that's 30 feet. What is 60 feet? I'm going to cast then uh, Frostbite on that crab. Isn't well, that a touch? No. No, it, 60 a, feet? My bad. Yeah, you're thinking of Frost Touch or whatever it is. Yeah, not chilling, chilling Touch or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Fair. Yeah, <laughs> I, I am not suicidal. <laughs> okay, so he's asleep. <laughs> so you hit. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, when range. you attack them, you awaken up. Yeah, it, it's... So that idiot fisherman who made two points of damage, wake him up. Interesting. Doesn't tell me, like, if, if he's, like... I would assume that he is sensitive to cold damage, and so... Well, that's on your part, then. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would assume that he, in fact, is sensitive to cold. So, uh, we're gonna call that a crit and let you double that. Okay, so... Six, six damage, but uh, he needs to make constitution or he doesn't take it. He can't make a constitution if he's asleep. Oh, he can't? Okay. But uh, wait, I don't think he's asleep. When you attack the... Uh, no, no, he creature, slumped forward. He swung and he fell. He didn't get attacked. Yeah, he didn't actually hit. That dude I, I thought the double ones were the damage, not the... No. No. No, that was just the hit. The double ones was, was to try to hit him, and he didn't hit the sleeping crab. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be hard not to vicious mockery that guy. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Really so, but with that, I will. Uh, I will. Well, I don't know what to. I guess it'd be a constitution. See if he wakes up from being hit with that freezing cold. No, he does not. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it just says that he he still makes constitutions, but he automatically fails strengths and that. That's it. So she's gonna get up to the boat and just see if she can see this thing. What does she got? Does she have anything she can? No. She's just going to stay there. <laughs> All right. More Zeus, it's your turn. All right. More Zeus is going to go here because any if he moves any further, he'll be in her space. And that's a okay. no-no. <laughs> it's so prone, right? The crab. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Going to shoot the sleeping crab, put it out of its misery. Oh, thanks. Do you have the thing where you don't need to reload that? Just, I'm asking out of curiosity, because... I have no idea. Yeah, I would take that as a no. <laughs> crossbows need to be reloaded, bro. That's one of the shitty downsides. Oh, uh, yeah. Just like your gun. Just like my gun, yeah. It reloaded. So, action to reload. All right. Yep. So, you're just going to reload. No attack. No attack. All right. Which bandit is this? Damn it. It's hard to keep track. This guy's going to attack him. See if he... Finish if he off misses this two. Crab. If he misses <laughs> two, we have to vote to throw them overboard mid mid ship. Okay. No. I mean, we can't sell a ship. No, but we can he, crash it straight into the port. He hits it, but it just glances off the crab shell. No damage. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna give the crab. It's his turn. I'm gonna give him a, another Constitution so if he wakes up. <laughs> no. Oh my god. I got this next he's, turn. Don't worry. He's still sleepy. He's sleepy crab. Morty, it's your turn. He's just a f ugly. An Don't ugly waste a spell. Crab. Don't waste a spell. No, it's not a spell. It's oh. going and going so oh. Just diminishing. How can you be missing in a sleeping stupid ugly crab? <laughs> Did you actually cast Vicious Mockery on him? Yeah, but technically, can he hear me because he's a sleeping? No, he can't. He's sleeping. Oh. <laughs> then I joined the group of missing because he's asleep. Okay, cool. This is going um, great. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything else. No, it's move. your turn. Okay, go ahead and take right. your full movement. Move my 40 feet. 
<clears throat> stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby. We'll call him flanked. All right, nice. So I will. He's also stolen punches, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yes. <laughs> this is the. I'm trying to boost it as best I can here, you guys. Crappy Nobody's hitting crap. the sleeping crab. We're trying. 17. <laughs> yeah, that hits. And it's a critical, so. Yeah, finally. Valen just walks up. Well, how do you how do you want to do this? He, he walks up. Actually, he runs up because that was his full movement. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah. all right, boys. <laughs> Let a man show you how to do it and stabs it. <clears throat> and stabs it clean into the ground and then kind of cuts through the front of the face like how you kill a, you know, when you cut a lobster, you go down and then flump. Mm-hmm. Like he does that, but with like a rapier slice type deal. Mm-hmm. And just and you just it. you just see the sleeping crab just pretend to still be sleeping. He's just dead now. And there was another sleeping crab that fell from the boat. Yeah, yeah he's in the water. All right, we've got a. He looks over I to know, the other I, sailors. I don't, I don't know if the combat is over. Nope, combat's over because right. uh, one of one of the things that was occurring, which you all didn't know about, was that the Saguen were uh, mind controlling those crabs. So when that crab does wake up, he's nice. just gonna go about his day. Valen definitely like keeps the crab. Like that is yeah. his let's, crab. Let's bring Jonah some crab. We got. No, it's for jewels, <laughs> not Jonah. Not jewels, jewels. Get new armor, yes. The Noble comes in and, oh yeah, let's make sure we'll get some for the group. I didn't realize until two or three seconds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, he's still about, he's like, we need to get to safety. He uh, looks back to see if he can see if the brother has survived this long. If so, he's he's got to help him. He's earned it. Dude, give, me, give me a perception check. Yeah. This is not going to be pretty. Attributes perception plus. I go to one of the fishermen and ask him, "How much do you think that guy's nineteen guys weight?" And he he reloads his gun. <laughs> do you think these are valid entries for the contest? I don't think the contest is going to be held this year. Maybe even not again. We need to get... We need to... Sh- Morty, on the boat! I just want to roll a dice. I'm um, not... Roll at the on d and Beyond? Huh? Which one? Sorry, what'd you say, Rev? Oh, I'm not in the looking at the map anymore. Oh, oh, all right. The combat is over. I, yeah. I go to the theater of the map. Okay, that's it. All right. Well... Just make sure that you're like moved on the boat, I guess, so just in case. Okay. Or, okay. You're pretty. Yeah. So you, Valen, you look over, and uh, it does it does appear that he is he is still standing. You don't know what kind of state he's in, but he is he is up. He goes, and he's like, "All right, let's go!" And he's like, "Shove off towards the saving guy, that guy." <laughs> and uh, it's it's at this point that. Uh, you you see come out from the captain's quarters a very tall, very long, white snow leopard tabaxi with a very large captain's cap. And she looks at the guys on the ground. And now several refugees have also come aboard the ship. Uh, and she says, get that filth off my ship. And he point, she points at that crab. I ain't got see, time. Valen cuts a, a a claw off and tucks it away. And you see the rest of the the rest of the, of her her team just go and push this crab off of the yeah. off of the deck. I, I'm between the team. Yeah, I the definitely claw. make sure I get at least a claw out of this. I react, <laughs> she, I react to orders. And she uh, as she as she's pointing at this at this crab, she looks down. No one else shouts orders to my boat except me. Keep your mouth shut unless I tell you. Aye, aye, sir. And she walks back into her captain's quarters. They're not, they're not, they're not going anywhere. I didn't know they were here. Fuck, but there's more lives to be saved. We tried our best. (laughs) All right. So anything else you're doing? You're on, you're on a boat that is slowly sailing the fuck away from this place. 
So we need an. <clears throat> I'm going to real quickly with my ability. I'm going to use my. Uh, I'm just going to features. Where is it? Uh, spellbook ritual spellcasting. Okay. Usability. With this, I can use my. I can use. I can cast a ritual spell. Mm -hmm. As the regular time instead of the ten minutes it takes. So, okay. One action ritual cast detect magic, or anything in my area. Okay. Yeah, you don't see anything magical. This is just a boat. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I most say. of the most of the material, like you do get a subtle glow from down downstairs, but like nothing is like bright and illu illuminating where you stand in your area. Yeah, we need magic, magic scrolls. Dance. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, there's there's stuff down there. Are you trying to look like out out onto the sinking yeah, island? I, yeah, because you know they had to had the, it put somewhere. So, oh sure. For the contest. <laughs> how <laughs> many get those scrolls? Yeah, how many how many feet of thirty, uh, 30 feet? Um, yeah. no, you don't see them because yeah. you're because you're on the boat. Yeah, you're at the front of the boat. Yeah, you don't I'm, see. Them. All right, with uh, is. Put your, put, put your put yourself where you want to be, whether that's on the boat or getting onto the boat, and then I will tell you what you see. I would be on the boat, safety first. Okay, but all scrolls. right. Um, but scrolls. Yeah, uh, from where you are, you do not see them. Yeah. Can Valen go into the captain's quarters? Uh, can you can try. Yeah, he is, I guess, going to knock on the captain's quarters. You just hear, fuck off! There's a, her brother! Fuck off! There's Fuck. So what do we do? I and it's a, it's at that point that if you, if you look, if you, if you look Where's out, you see, you see Joe he falls. He makes sure the sister's on the boat. She is. All right. And you just kind yeah. of like, Stands next to her quietly, mm -hmm. and he doesn't say anything. He just stands there with her, like in a way that lets her know he's there with her, but he knows better than to say anything. She's, uh, I mean, she's she's in a place where like she's not surprised that this happened with them. She's not gonna say anything either. Okay, they just stand there. And the name was Joa. Yep, his name was Joa. It's at this point that, like, basically three quarters of the island is now underwater. Not like a ton of water. Like, you could still, you could still get onto it and walk on it, but it's like would be up to like your your thighs for the most part. For most of you, for the shorter of you, up to like your chest. Mm. Let me Where see are here. We going? Let me see here. How how fast is the boat going? It's. I mean, they're just they're just pulling pulling away from the dock. Like for the most part, refugees have either at this point, like the the people of the island are either on that boat with you, or they have moved and swum across the northern part of the island, swimming across the channel there. Yep. So I'm gonna do dumb. I'm gonna get up the boat with the remaining time and look my damnedest for these scrolls. Okay. All right. Uh, you have half your movement. Yeah. All right. So, um, go ahead. The the dock is already submerged, and so you don't have a swim speed yet, but you are about you know up to your chest in it. You're you're pushing through. You can still contact ground. It's like it's like swimming in the like five five foot portion of a pool. You still hit the ground and move a little bit. Um, you don't necessarily see anything, but go ahead and uh, when you get out however many feet you need to get out uh give me another detect magic uh so i was here so that's 10 that's 20. 15 i can only move 15 since i have fat half movement yep that's where i can get for the first okay and i'm using want... my next i'm using my action to move so that's another 15 feet okay and then can i look yep all right. 
Perception. Oh. That is that is unfortunate. Oh, yeah, that's, that's unfortunate, Austin. Thank you. <laughs> no, you don't see anything. All right. Uh, I'm going to move. How many turns can I do this safely? Uh, you've got, I mean, if you, if you move another 15 feet, you're going to be on land, but you're going to be much further from the boat. Good. Uh, yeah. I'm 15. That, that's my movement. Okay. Give me another perception and, and a detect magic, whichever well, you want. Detect magic still up since it okay. lasts for okay. 10 minutes. Come oh. on, work with me. 10. <laughs> Nope, you don't see it anywhere. At this mm. point, the decision of finding those scrolls or getting on the boat is is your last decision. Yep. I watch him doing. Uh, Valen runs to the front of the boat and okay. throws his uh, gets because you know it's it was attached to his wrist, so he had to pull it back. That's how it yep, works. Yep. So now yep. he throws it as far to shore as he can. Like, yeah, I mean, with its with its range, you can you can get it, and like if you want it to like hit, you can pin it to the house, or it can just fall into the water. Um, yeah, he'll pin it to the house. It's basically just to give him something to grab a hold of. Okay, all right, Russell, you see out of the corner of your eye, a friggin' uh, harpoon. harpoon just pin itself into the into the building that you were next to. All right, uh, I do I have my full movement or? Well, if you grab if you grab that rope, you'll have your full movement. Uh, well, I'm going further inland, trying to find those scrolls. Okay, go ahead. So, fifteen or thirty? Fifteen. Well, right. uh, we'll go twenty-five because once you once you get out of the water, you have your full movement. All right, so that's where I can get, and yep. I'm going to make a perception check. Okay. There it is. Yes, there twenty-two. It is. Uh, There's I want to nothing here. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty feet of me. You you do see you do see uh, an area of something glowing that's inside the building next to you in that same corner. So. Uh, so you gotta go like here. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's my goal then. Okay, go there. Uh, delete and then. Five, that's... While he's doing this, Valen works on attaching his own. He has 50 foot of rope. Uh, okay. 20 feet. To attach to it, because I know we're drifting away. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he's just going to keep the lifeline out. Although, Favorite. he definitely um, looks... Give me an investigation check. With advantage? Yep. All right. Wow. Oh my god, dude! I got a 13. Okay, uh, so you do you do find third place. You've got one scroll and ten gold pieces. Uh, I'm I'm gonna make another perception check. Okay. Eighteen. Do I see anything else? You see nothing else. That's it. I I can cut my losses. Okay. Do I get back on the boat? Cinematic. Nope. Yeah, yeah. So uh, go ahead. I mean, at this point, the bar the bar is pretty much underwater. So now you are going to have to swim to the rope. Okay. So, uh... I make sure Marzuth helps me with the rope with his strength, like holding it. Oh, athletics. Marzuth is helping out. Fifteen. Okay. Okay. All right, yeah. With a, with a, with enough swimming in time, you you make it to that rope, and and with the help of your friends, they manage to pull you back to the boat. Okay. He looks right. down. He's like, I've never caught a bird out of the ocean before. <laughs> you don't know I'm a bird. Um, how much no, they, did they, pulling they, him they, affect his I've, mask? Yeah. All all you've all you've seen is his hands because he did wave That's at somebody, true. so you've seen black feathers. Um, but I, <laughs> hmm. More Zeus, the only one who's put it together so far. Uh, give me, I don't, I don't know what kind of check there would be to keep your clothes on you while you're swimming. 
to cover your <laughs> keep your mask on while water's going. Yeah, you're yeah, give me yourself. give me a deception. Just give me a, a, a deception check. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna need six. <laughs> Fuck you, dice, <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh, this is Coog's game all over again. Man. <laughs> this is my normal dice rolls. You kidding me? Uh, it's it while you are while you are being ripped by Morzuth and Valen. Uh, actually, Morzuth, Valen, give me strength checks. Oh, dick cheese. Okay, and ac- actually, a floor because he's not caring at this point. He's caring more about the scrolls. Okay. Okay. Um, athletics. It's gonna be an athletics. Yeah, that's fine. Oof. Oh my. I already chose strength. That's fine. Strength is fine. Okay. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> with with more Zeus ripping him through the water, you see all of a sudden the hood. It doesn't come off, but it, the water catches it and pulls. And and for just a split second, I don't know who's at the front of the boat. At least more Zeus and Valen. Um, you see a beak, like just the very front part of a beak, come out before he grabs it and pulls it forward. All right, then and he you, wouldn't make that comment since he knows he's trying to hide it. Yep, yep. You're on the back. you're on the boat. You're all on the boat, and it is slowly sailing away. He's just breathing heavy, despite being very ineffective in the pulling in. He did try his hardest. <laughs> Uh, uh, can I take a quick look at this scroll? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> What's the <this> scroll? <laughs> Single-minded, man. You're welcome, by the way. Right? Right? <laughs> What's the scroll? Give me just I'm, a second. Sorry. I'm, I'm just playing with my chicken octopus. Chictopus. It's with his suckers all on my face. <laughs> I have like red points. <laughs> That's fucking hot. Awesome. It was supposed to be a bird, you know. It happens. It, I get magic is weird. This this is a scroll of earth binding. Earth binding? Earth bind. Okay. Earth bind. Did you happen to find anything else it's, in there? It's got a range of three hundred feet. It's yeah. a concentration for up to one minute. It's yeah. like it puts an enemy on place or something like that. Mm, uh, I'll look at it because I'll actually see if I can't learn it. Right. Well, I can learn it, any, but I can't use Why? it. Why couldn't you? Earthblind. Oh, it's a level two. I can. Yeah, but I can't. You can add it to your book. Much. You just can't use it. No, I can't because it's uh, fifty per level, and that's a hundred gold. Ooh. All right. Yeah, buddy. So, um, anybody want to give me, as you sail away, anybody want to give me a perception check? I got it. We want. Can't wait to fail this one, too. Woo! 25. Natural three. Plus one, four. I'm just too busy playing with my octopus. I'm too busy. (laughs) I'm too busy looking at the squirrel. I'm yep. not doing anything else. All right, so, <laughs> uh, did I got a twenty-five? Zoot? Okay, there we go. Now it's. I was, like, oh, I was like, "Where's your pink?" Hey, nice, not, not bad. bad. Holy fuck! I actually did it. Yeah. Um. Okay. So between Valen and Morzuth, you guys see a number of this. This ship is actually pretty big. It it holds a solid twenty people between the lower decks and the upper decks. Um, there are a number of refugees that are slowly starting to like set up areas for them to be while they're, while they're trying to figure out where the hell they're going to go now that their home is destroyed. Um, and you can see they're pretty, pretty easy to identify, uh, because they're busy doing things. They all have different duties. Um, and so you see, you see a burly haired man that's playing a card game with a couple of the refugees. Now that things are start, starting to settle out, there's a half orc that's kind of staring off um, along the waves, and she's kind of like smiling. She has, she's got a smile on her face. Um, Ten gold pieces, and um, 
you see you see her laughing is like there's like a dolphin that's like slowly fall catching and following the waves of the ship. Uh, you see a pale green elf. Uh, looks like a, a sea elf. His eyes are very watery, and he's talking with a female dwarf that has like a thick knotted beard right at the ship's helm. And then the last one that you see is a handsome kind of muscle bound guy that's like kind of flirting with one of the refugee girls that's on the on the dock. Specifically, Leah. You see him flirting with her. He goes in the ocean. But more, more Zeus or the guy? No, the guy. He's going. To, he's going to have to go into the ocean. <laughs> Are you trying to attack him? No, no. <laughs> he's he's leaning over to Valen. We're going to have to push him into the ocean. <laughs> Why? What? 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 He's flirting with our girl, man. She's no one's girl. She's her own girl. I got your claws. Ow, 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 ow. ow. <laughs> why? Why, why? Uh, there's so much pain happening. Stop being attached to me. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you have affection for me? Oh, she Monster. just like, she like reaches up and then just all ten of them just right into my leg. Like, I want to get up and we'll just pull yep. herself. Ugh. Anywho, that's what you guys see. Uh, and you guys are starting to actually sail out and not not into the full ocean. This this ship is not big enough for like open ocean travel, but you guys are getting away from, from the whole area. Are we going towards uh Damali? Not at the at the moment you're just sailing out into, into ocean. You have no idea where, where you're going. Well, where are we going? I asked to anybody that knows what's going on. <laughs> You have, you have to pick a pick a person. Um, the, refu- the refugees have no idea where they're going. They're just they're just thankful oh. to be alive. Then I go Morzuth to Leah. Goes, Morzuth goes to look for the person driving and asks them like, "Where the hell are we going?" Valen follows Morzuth. So you're headed up to the helm of the ship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As a matter of fact, like. Okay. Uh, how much more time do we have? Um, we've got about 20 minutes left. So, ooh. Um, you're being sneaky? Yes. <laughs> okay. I am using my... St- oh, shit. I got a nat 20 on it? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. she doesn't see you, but she does see more Zeus. Uh, so this is the this is the, the bearded, the bearded uh, dwarf that you perceived just earlier. She's the one steering the ship. Um, she's the one that's... She's the one that's Yo, where controlling her. Well, away from here, she says. She's like, I don't, I don't really get a say, uh, but I was told away from here, so I'm getting away from here. I don't know where we're going, but not here. And she kind of just goes back to steering. That answered everything, but yet nothing. <laughs> yep. He comes back to the group. Okay, we don't know where we're going. So it's at this point, we're probably going to have to start choosing who to eat first. I say we choose the man that's flirting with the bartender. <laughs> no, wait, isn't she one of the... Oh, didn't we save one of the competitors? Yeah, you that, did. That's not Leah, right? No. Okay, making sure. Leah, Leah was Leah no. was the bartender. All right, she was right. the she's the pretty like the yeah, small. Yeah. When he said that, pretty. I got confused. I was like, wait no. one second. The one that took the bait. Ah. All right. Wait. I'm I'm going to. Uh, let me see here. Is he too focused on the scroll? He's too focused on the scroll. Okay. Um. Yeah. Valen stealths down and listens at the captain's doors. He's like, okay. Just maintains that. Okay. Then give me a perception. perception. Fuck! <laughs> Ying and yang on this shit. All right, I got a six. No eight. Sorry. Yeah. You you can hear like you can hear like moving around in the, in the in the cabin, but you don't hear like words or anything being said. All right. Um, is there a way for me to find? Because I've I've been here for years. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
like where can I find see where I am in relation to Port Damali? What check would that be? Mm. Give me an investigation check. All right. Please do good. Hey, 20. Yeah. Um, so as you kind of look out across the ocean, you can see it's, I mean, by this point, it's probably like three o'clock. It's still bright out. Mm. There's no clouds. Um, you can see open, open ocean off to the south, just pure open ocean. Um, and then to your north, you can see what looks like the city of Port Damali, not very far because you guys just sailed from there. Mm -hmm. And then you can also see Nicodranas in the south and you can see a little bit further along the way. So right. you like, they're, they are sail sailing out and away to be out on the ocean, All right. but not, not like sail the ocean. All right. So, so that's west? Or they're, they're headed, yeah, they're headed west at the moment. I put a slimy basil in my head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just gonna sit on deck, you know, mm -hmm. in the railroads or however you say that. Ooh. And mm -hmm. just watch. Watch the sea. Okay. Um, uh where you where you happen to sit is kinda of right next to the to the uh, half orc that's gazing out. The female uh, half orc. Well, there was a female half and so she kind of looks down to you and she's like uh and as, as you as you look at her she's she sees the octopus on your head and she just kind of chuckles and she's like <laughs> that's cute it is very pretty did you see the dolphins no where right there and she kind of points out into the ocean oh. just give it a minute they'll leap out and you after a couple minutes of watching you see they're magnificent, there. and I want to get a closer look, so I pull Basil and I throw it to the sea, <laughs> again in the direction of the <laughs> And she kind of just like... Don't worry, <laughs> she, he likes water, and okay. I can make him back anytime. Okay. So I go, I, I use Basil to watch underwater okay. the dolphins. Yeah, you see, so there's I, I a... Go like, White eyes like uh, in front of the half orc. And she's she's <laughs> she kind of like looks at you and is just kind of like she's not sure what to do, but she like pokes you and she's like touching in the in the eye globe. Yeah. Yeah. You can you can feel you can feel somebody like poking yeah. you on your face. And I go back. Oh, you have to see that. And I pull Basil back on my head. She's just like you're a wizard, aren't you? I'm a special. That's true. <laughs> I she she kind of just laughs. She's like, "I'm the jarkle. Who are Jarkle. You? My name is Morty one, but you can call me Morty. Everybody does. Hi, Morty. It's nice. Do I know this name? You do not. No. Nope. Can you repeat? The jarkle. So D A J A R K A L. So where are you going? Do you know what what are we going? Is well, right now I don't. Right now I don't think we have a direction. Um, we were here looking for something. The captain is very, uh, very interested in a particular item that is near there. Um, so while the mm. while the the island may have sunk, I, I think we're. I think we may be going back there. I think we just need to square up what we're doing first. I could be of help if you need it. I have an octopus that can see underwater, and I can see through the eyes oh. of the octopus. And I oh. put the octopus right in my face, and I look my face through his eyes. <laughs> so freaky. <laughs> and I put it back. Oh my gosh. OK, and you see, uh, she's like, that's very interesting. Are, are, do you have other friends that, that might be able to help? Yeah, there's Russell there. He just shoo shoo shoo, super magic, more harm for harm, harmful. Remember, you can't mind. see Valen at all. Mm. There was another one probably hiding over there or somewhere, and there's a mm. the big one fella there who's 
throwing daggers with his eyes to the guy. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Yeah. You see Morzuth challenging the guy to a dance-off near Leah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's just like, I don't understand what's happening. And Leah's like... <laughs> He was a little weird on the beach, but he wasn't this weird. <laughs> I just met him yesterday. I don't know how weird I'm to be. And, uh, I'm not sure much. And the, uh, the, the, uh, the half work is just like, that's very interesting. And you see her just kind of like rubber, kind of like rubber fingers along her palm. Um, and inside there's like this little script and she's just like, and she speaks into it and all of a sudden there's just a wisp of a, of a, of a little monkey that just takes off and you watch it just disappear through the captain's doors. Ooh, what was that? It was an illusion or a friend? That's my animal messenger. That's nice. How's his yeah. name? Doesn't really have a name. Oh, you have to name them to uh, get. Uh, most animals give me their names. He's not a real animal. So are you a wizard too? No, I'm a druid. Oh, druids like animals. Um, uh, and she kind of. Unless anybody else wants to do anything besides yeah. a dance off. Yeah, uh, <laughs> specifically look to see if there's any elves on the ship. And and give me a give me a perception check, Balan. All right, because I do know that Port Damali is like forty five percent human, fifteen percent elf, fifteen percent other humanoid, and fifteen percent like half orcs or some shit like i don't know but what am i rolling again perception yeah don't fuck me dice please oh you bitch it's okay it's still pretty obvious you just see a, an ethereal monkey just through the doors of the captain's study and sorry what else were you doing any uh, elves on board yeah i'm looking to try yeah. to find an elf you, even if i have to ask you did. You saw. You saw a uh, green a, a sea elf in your first perception check. Oh, that's right. That's right. All right. So yeah, I definitely <gasps> like. I guess sneak <gasps> over to him. Um, okay. And kind of like, essentially, just step out of the shadows, like into his presence. You know what I mean. You could see him. He's he's kind of um, he he was talking with the um, with the the person steering the ship, mm -hmm. but has now stepped away and is kind of brood, like brooding on the ed on the edge at the back, kind of where the, you see these two big ballistas mm -hmm. are sitting, um, and he's like in between them and he's just kind of brooding on the edge of the deck. Yeah, he steps out from like one of the ballista shadows. Mm -hmm. Um. Excuse me, I don't mean to bother you. I can see you're kind of having a moment, but I need to ask you a question. You can tell me to fuck off, it's your prerogative. But I just recently found out, like, I don't know how to... I'm an elf who's tired. I, I only sleep in spurts. I can't seem to find a... I'm just always on the verge of exhaustion. I can't sleep at night. I lay down eight hours just like everyone else. And I just can't seem to stay asleep. And he's like, he's really like, there's so much going on right now that like, he's like, essentially, um, that's internal. So don't worry about that. Mm. But he's, he's very, very genuine. Like. Uh, he, he sort of, he, he's just a little weirded out about how upfront you are. He's like, I've, I've never seen an elf quite like you, but, uh, don't you know how to trance? He, he like, kind of like an ashamed kid when you're like, 
what do you mean you don't know how to read? And he's like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he doesn't say anything. He just kind of looks down and shakes his head. Uh, and he kind of like shakes his head for a second and like touches the side of his ear and he's like, I'll tell you more later. The captain needs to see you. And at the same time as that he says that, um, the the jargal talking to Morty is like, you need, yeah, you need to go talk with the captain. Get your friends and go talk to him. Yes, you. Okay, donkey. And uh, boys, and I'm gonna scream with a minor illusion, so everybody hears. And <laughs> boys, the captain wants to see us. Oh God. And I'm gonna. Uh, uh. Or Zeus stops <laughs> at like mid can can and just we're to finish this later, and he starts can canning over to the captain's door. Uh, <laughs> Valen just it, kind of. I'm with them. <laughs> Like, Damn. this moment couldn't be worse for him right now. <laughs> You're not the only one. I've been studying this scroll <laughs> intently, trying to learn it. Yeah. But yeah, they, okay. they go to the captain's so quarters. So you, you all head to the to the captain's quarters? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, one of you, gun. whomever, opens the door. And what you see is you see the same tabaxi that yelled at you um, earlier. Mm-hmm. This very tall, very bright white snow leopard-like tabaxi is hunched over a wide table with mat with mat- a map on the front of it, and it's pinned onto the table with about half a dozen knives and daggers just sticking out of it in different places. When you look at her, she's got several gold rings that just glisten on her fingers, and her paws are kind of moving along the map as she's looking at it. And she kind of glances up at you with her bright emerald eyes as you open the door and she smiles, this big teethy smile. And it's cheerful, but it's a little unsettling. There's a lot of teeth involved. Uh, Yes. And she's like, ah, welcome. She says, are you the heroes of that pretty village? I shake my head no. (laughs) Grumpily. I am, yes. You can consider that. Valence is quiet. Interesting. And she kind of just like rubs her chin. She's like, welcome to the wave chaser. Um, we have much to discuss about your sinking isle back there. And the treasure in... we might find if we go back. The treasure, you say? Works up. Ba- Basil wraps, wraps my chin, too. And uh, that tentacle. that's where we're going to end our game. <sighs> Next right. week, we all right. Well, I do hope the audience for treasure hunting. Yes, I hope the audience is prepared. Yes. <laughs> so please join us next week as we find out maybe a little more about this captain, our role in the oh. adventures to come, and maybe what this sunken treasure, long forgotten, is, what connections it has. So feel free to join us next Thursday, if it's YouTube, and we will be here to have fun. So thank you guys for joining us. This is Captain Valen reminding you that life happens in every direction. Sometimes it's a nat one, sometimes it's a natural 20. Enjoy your day. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Subscribe to Vagabond Gaming for more fun and misadventures, bitches. Also that.